How are you? Welcome. I appreciate y'all. I, I already know. This is going to be a freaking another phenomenal episode coming on. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to the Reese Russell Show. I'm your host, Reese Russell. Uh, I had to stop. I got two of the 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 comedy. What well, they're, they're the the comedy motherfucking tours. Every time I see somebody on stage, I've never seen an open mic or a mic or a feature mic or a show without one of these two people being on here and being in Las Vegas and being on the scene. They're on to something. So I got coming uh. On the cozy couch. I don't like the cozy couch, so the I'm going to cut that shit. I don't like the cozy couch. Let's make it a little more cozy. Oh, doing? shit. Get closer, baby. <laughs> oh, all right. I, like I want to say comfy, but I that was worse. I want a person just right well, here. What I really like about this couch is these are clearly not the original couch cushions. You don't think so? No, no. chance. Not no a chance. chance. I like it, though. It's charming. They actually are. No way. 100%. These look like aftermarket cushions. But what you're missing them. is it had it had a lounge. It had a chase. Uh, it had a chase on the other side. You have an ottoman? Nah. I'm sorry. We just we we got the we no. Nah, I like it. Let's let, talk I'm about sorry. the yeah, couch. I'll just it, pretend. Is it comfy? It actually, I like is. It. Yeah, it's yeah. Very good. Yeah, I mean, I have the arm. I'm fine. You, you have. The, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need the arm. It, the, the, you get the extra pillow. You can yeah, snatch yeah. the extra I'm pillow. Over there. This is like the same um, like hierarchy as when you're on a plane. Like, I got window seat. I have the extra thing, but you got a little extra leg room. Right. Because you're in the aisle. And we just need a fat bitch with coffee to roll through. Just roll through, roll over your toes? into your elbow, yeah. yeah. ba doo -do. <laughs> I had, we were, we were talking about, matter of fact, I'm going to introduce, uh, this is Parker Ty, everybody. Hello. Hello. Bam. Will Hunsinger. Oh, greetings. Hi. Bam. What's up? Uh, I had to stop them from talking earlier about I was th the the question of the day <laughs> that I was going to ask these fellow comedians is what is the worst thing about comedy? Um, but they started going into a story without even me talking about it, about how. Well, o Octopussy. What? Oh, uh, oh, um, the Squid well, Show? Squid Show, and also the magic comedy, because we I cut you off before you got to that part. I wanted to hear about that, too. Uh, I have opinions. I, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of comics don't like magicians, and let's, I get it. I love them. I get it. I, I will fight you on this. We can debate this there right now. There are a handful of, I don't want to say, you know, it's like hashtag not all comedy magicians, because there are some good comedy magicians. You know, mm -hmm. Every James, one of them. James Michael. No. All comedy Penn magicians, Teller, right? Yes. But here's the thing: I don't like about magicians. They won't. I will tell you how I wrote a joke. I'll explain to you exactly how I did it, no problem. Mm -hmm. But they won't tell me how they did the magic trick, and I don't trust them. Oh, so you just like feeling smart, and then they yeah. make you feel dumb, so now you hate yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I feel. Did yeah. you hate college entrance exams as well? Uh, I did not take any college entrance exams. By point exactly. Yeah. That you, was you it. Just hate, you he was just like, "Fuck that shit! I'm not taking a chance." Are what you do you love about? Stupid? What do you love about com like comedy magicians? I, I fuck comedy magicians. I don't. <laughs> it's nothing that I don't what like do about <laughs> them. I love them personally, but it's I just I don't hate them to the level other people do. I don't know why there's such a vitriol. Do you know my theory? What's your theory? My theory about why comics and magicians don't like each other is... Do they hate <laughs> us? Uh, I don't know if it's... I, it might be a one-way hatred. No, the it's all... That's what it feels good. like. They feel cooler than us. They've got some cool shit going on, and they can pull shit out, and it's a cool thing you can do at a bar, and they get pussy. And Magicians get pussy? Back magicians up. get a ton of pussy. Are you kidding Maybe me? Maybe like David Blaine They'll and make Copperfield. You, they'll like, make your girl like disappear. A regular birthday party magician right? getting yes. pussy? Yes. How? Without a doubt. You never see a magician that doesn't have a hot assistant. Yeah, but they're not banging them. Yes, they are. There's probably some kind of magician assistant union that. I guarantee that. every magician in this town has had sexual harassment charges put against them. Well, yeah, but damn. Also, yeah, this, is the, this is the magic capital. But of the also, world. even more that we're accepting those advances. Accepting mm -hmm. Ma magicians. Magicians I, get pussy. I don't. I, there's I a hatred between that. magicians, improv, Comics comedians. Can yes. I say my theory? This is my theory. What's your theory? It's a, a venue will either book a comedian or a magician. They're the same type of act, which means like they're both oh. lesser than musicians, right? Yes. They're like on magicians and comics are kind of on equal playing field as far as a venue is concerned. So there's always. I feel like the reason they don't get along is. Oftentimes, a comic won't get booked, and a magician will. Territory. You're saying it's territorial. Getting. Yeah, it's ter They do the same kinds of venues. Yes, and in those venues, there's a hierarchy of pussy getting. So improv is the lowest. They get no ass. They get none. None. Yeah. They, but they're good group. at pretending it's they get some. Yeah. <laughs> they're good at that. It's like eleven dudes and three girls. None of them are fucking. 
and they're just there, and they're the angriest of them all. They hate everybody. Yeah. And comedy is slightly above that by a hair. <laughs> you get a little bit, just a just a smidge. They're doing okay. But magicians above that. So You're you out of up. your fucking mind. Yes. Magicians are above comedians every day of the week. You're at, you put David Blaine against Dave Chappelle any fucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But give me an average bar magician versus an average bar comic. Bar magician's going home with the girl every time. And then above that, rock stars. We all hate musicians because they get the yeah. most. They're yeah, killing yeah, it. They're, 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 they're the top, the top of Not the, the drummer. If you're no. going to the House of Blues. Does the oh, drummer hit the pussy? A drummer gets, gets more, more pussy Oh, my God. Comedian. Yes. Uh-huh. The drummer gets With, way more that's pussy. That's where the hate comes from. Yes. <laughs> them, them, them motherfuckers. That's yeah. where the hate the comes from. Then, oh, that's where the hate yes. comes from. Let me ask you guys a question. Has a woman ever thrown her underwear at you after a joke? There you go. After a joke? Yeah. No. Right? Yes. Uh-uh. That's never happened. Guess what happens to musicians all the time? What? Yeah. That's why. Yeah, they right. getting they getting oh, hit with pennies. Thing. People yeah, hate upward. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't like the it ain't like the pennies got a tracking device. They can't <laughs> just locate the pussy after. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? You know, it's got like a Cinderella situation. <laughs> what the you fuck? go, you just go on girls. You yeah. try it out. No, I Look. like getting the pennies to stick out about this wide. <laughs> you get the, yeah. It's, but you're you're I okay. Yeah. I will I will agree. I'll agree. Musicians, musicians get more pussy yes. than everybody. Yes. Right. But there's no way that an average bar comedian gets less pussy than an average bar magician. How many bar an average you know? bar magician is in there trying to win some drinks. How many bar comedians you know? Not a lot, because no, I know a lot they're, they're called you know hustlers. How many open micer, whatever comics that just do bars that you know, like hundreds, right? Yeah. How many of those hundreds do you know that can regularly? Get women that they like to talk to them. All Not a lot. Like Three. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Three. Fuck. You did. Statistically, say. Wait, well, well, I know four wait, magicians. Is, all those so we're losing. Clean we're up. losing the magicians. I don't, I, don't, I don't know any like bar. I don't know any middle class magicians. Exactly. I don't like. They're uh, killing it. No, they no, stay. I'm no, they like, stay like, hidden. <laughs> like I only know about like the ones on the strip. I don't know like any up and coming magicians. You never done a show with a magician? Uh, I mean. Yeah, but they're not like open mic or magi- are there any open mic or magicians? Are there no, they just go straight to the mics? big. They they just go to bar shows. They're that might around. be the reason why you hate them. There. You yeah. because they saying, you don't they don't let them. you know they don't let you know the tricks pro- probably because they gotta pay for them. Oh, true. They buy the they buy tricks. Yeah, they buy yeah, tricks. Yeah, they got yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. There's like magician conventions. Do you know the biggest mm-hmm. thing I hate about magic? Do you know who holds the world record for holding their breath the longest? Is it Blaine? It's David Blaine, yeah. who is a magician. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like well, he's fucking with us. I feel like he didn't really hold his breath that long. I mean, he if, just says one of these. Yeah. Just, just a little. Now, it's a, it's impressive whether he did it or he made it look sure, like he did. But he's a liar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I wish they would have put his head in like an airproof box. An airproof box. And, and then just started it. And so let's see how you, let's see how what, this goes. How did they do it? What was the you know, underwater? You know, you, I don't watch official, magic. Who no, cares? Official, you said put him in a vacuum. No, the official story that David Blaine and his people want you to believe is that he really did just hold his breath for 17 minutes. But I'm calling. I'm calling. That, bullshit. Yeah, that's sex. I'm shit. calling bullshit. Yeah. It's not. It's Guinness Book of World Record. It's a Guinness Book of World Record. Well, he did his thing where he had the when he hung upside down. Remember that? He was like hanging upside down by a chain. It was in Vegas, and he's like, "I'm gonna hang here for like 24 hours or something absurd." And they're like, "If you hang upside down for like, I think it's almost like a couple hours, you just die." So he's like, I'm going to do this thing for like way longer than that, but I'm going to take little breaks and sit up every once in a while. It's like, then that's not the same thing. But he still has the record. I don't know what that dude it's, does. It's a couple of hours. I didn't know that. If I didn't you know you died for that a cool. long time, I think you just die. Uh, well, shoot. Will Smith in the, in, in I Am Legend, yeah. when he got knocked out and was hanging upside down with that exactly. haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was up. I, he, it he got dark. Out. Yeah. He was out there for a long time. He should have had brain damage. Maybe. Is because when you upside down, the pressure in your exactly. head builds up. Right. But he had a cut, so it was letting the blood leak out. Mm. So it was. I don't know. We're or maybe theorizing. you don't die. Maybe you like lose or your extremities or something. It was a movie. Yeah. Yeah, that but movie what, had but, but we're it talking about we're talking about magicians, and you <laughs> just tried to correct me about a movie. <laughs> Listen, killed, Which one's more fictional here? <laughs> when he killed that dog, that shit felt real to me. Thank That's, you. <laughs> that was the closest I came to crying in a movie as a kid. Wolf. That was bad. When I don't think strangled... I've ever cried in a movie theater. When he strangles a German it, okay, shepherd. Okay, have you ever cried at a movie, though? 
The, I don't think so. Lassie didn't make you cry. Every like maybe I've like like felt a little like tear like start to that's form. That's called in my cry. Eyes, but nothing's ever like dripped down. Because yeah. yeah. you yeah. held it in. You yeah. tried to use all your manhood to <laughs> hold in, not crying when Bambi got fucked up. Two times I've come close in a theater. You, you've come two times. Very close. <laughs> I've come in a the theater, fucking... but that's for different reasons. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once. If you haven't seen that movie, everything, everywhere, all at once. It's one of the best movies. Oh, ever. it's one of the best movies I've ever the, seen. In my the VFR, life. the VFX guys are some of the best guys. It's it's just one of the best movies I've ever seen. In my what life. made it so good? What did you like about it's, it? It's I can't describe it. You have to see it. I can't do it justice. See that fucking movie if you've not seen that movie. It blew my fucking mind. But it was like it was everything, and I didn't think I'd like it. I just got take my my girlfriend at the time I was like, "Oh, Wait, you're telling me it was everything? It was like all everywhere at once, <laughs> at once. <laughs> like all at once, all Correct. at once, yeah. <laughs> correct." I, it's it's so it's like it's sci-fi kind. Of, it's the most shit I've ever felt in a movie theater. Like it was so good, I met the people in the theater. Does that make sense? Like when the credits rolled, it was pin drop silence, and then one dude just goes. Fuck and everybody was like, "Yeah, right." Like, what the hell? My name's Will. How are you? And he was like, "Dude, I'm Dave. This is crazy." Like, everyone in the theater met each other watching that shit. Oh, that's that, the white people shit. That, no, it was black guys. Said, fuck. <laughs> it was the black guy that said, "Fuck." Everybody, every race, creed, and color. It was wild. Everyone came together. It was fucking nuts. Y'all met each other. But was this post COVID? Uh, this was yeah. This movie came out this year, didn't it? or last last year? year I saw yeah, it in the yeah. theater. I don't know how it would be if it wasn't a theater, but it was one of the best movies I've ever seen. Fair enough. That kept me close. But I was with my girl, and I was just like, I'm not crying. I'm not that doing is it. one thing. I, I don't uh, cry in front of women. I'm kind of upset about movie theaters dying out. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah, you can watch movies at home, but I like going to the movie theater. It's a yeah. cool experience. The it North is Man a different really experience. Like, I remember theater. seeing uh, when The Avengers came out. That was, like, the big movie when I was a kid. Yeah. Like, seeing that in the movie theater with your friends, that was fucking Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Movie, but... Okay, so that... Okay, three. Three. Interstellar, close. Interstellar, when he's trapped in the prism. Uh-huh. Have you seen Interstellar? I, I've seen. You seen Interstellar? No, I haven't no, seen Interstellar. What I also does, haven't seen everything ever. I've, I've I've seen seen neither one of those. He picking two movies. We and don't then know. the yeah. Fault in Our Stars when I was like twenty. But they gonna know that shit. The Fault in Our Stars. That I pretended shit was... to cry out to get a girl to make out. With I her. did the opposite. <laughs> what? I was That's... like, if I cry, this girl's never gonna fuck me. Did it work? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's cool. <laughs> there we go. We have different strategies. <laughs> Your hers, his is more fucked up by far. Though, right? <laughs> you faked emotion to get some pussy. I buried it down. He said, was... I, you said he grit, grit down. Mm-hmm. You said I ain't crying mm-hmm. this shit. I, I felt one of these. I did one of these. I did one of those, and I bit. That's how I hide crying. Is you grind your teeth to the point they're dust, and then inhaling that dust dries the tears. That's what happens, and you're you're just like. Fuck, don't cry. And then you, you know, mm-hmm. that's how you do it. I don't know. Do you cry, I, Reese? Of course. I've cried 100%. Like, not like. But you're, it's, you're in touch with your soul. Yeah, you think you're, so? You're, yeah. you're a sensitive guy. I no, definitely, everybody's no, sensitive. He's in tune. But that's I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I don't know an artist that's like, not sensitive. sensitive. I'm definitely sensitive. Yeah? Yeah. You listen to Teddy Pendergrass? Uh, Thelonious Monk. Yep, I go I a little that. bit low. Mm-hmm. But it, crying in a movie, I definitely cry. Like, on a first date. You with a girl, on date? like on a first date with a girl, was there, like is there a second? Yeah, really? That's, yeah, that's very, really? like unsure. So yeah. I was watching Queen and Slim. It's a uh, what's Queen and Slim? Queen and Slim is a movie about a lawyer who had just lost a case about her, a lawyer who just lost a case that was unjust in her eyes for the police. Okay, and then she went on a date with a guy, and that guy. He got pulled over and they only got into a shoot at this movie. No, I just got, I told 100%. Guy, I was like, none of this part's getting sad to no, me at all. And that wasn't the sad part, but like I'm giving get you the over. He'd drive off and be fine. Well, I, I don't understand ask the sad part. part. Yeah. I'm a, I'm explaining the movie <laughs> and then you get to the, you get to the goal with the movie. Um, Queen of Slim, but the the story is not about the movie. I'm going to tell you about why I cried. Okay. Yeah, it's about oh, cry. okay, okay. I'm trying to just fill him yeah, in yeah. real quick. Um, He's establishing backstory. Yeah. Y'all asked what Queen of Slim was. Queen and Slim is a movie um, about a guy and a girl. They get into a shootout with the police and with the police and go on the run. Mm-hmm. So it gets to everything was going fine. It gets to the end of the movie. I'm not gonna spoil the end of the movie, but at that particular time, I literally start bawling. Like tears coming down my eyes, snot running down my theater? nose in a theater on a next date. to on a first date with my girl next to me. Uh 
She had come to, I got up, I'm going to the bathroom, tears running down my eyes. And I'm like, what the fuck am I going through? I come back and sit down. She had no idea that anything over here was going on. She just thought I had to go to the restroom. She, yeah. she missed the crying. Missed the whole uh, cry. That's why I had crying. a second day. Okay. All right. Good. I <laughs> yeah. thought, did you cry quietly? No, I was bawling, but it's a movie theory. You can't hear shit. Right. You can't hear nobody doing nothing. So it was she loud. just thought, man, he had to pee. He got out of here quick. hundred percent. And you were. Yeah. It was like complete. Like, I'm talking about, I'm talking about ball, like ball. Wow. Cry. What did like you it was do bad. when the lights came on in your eyes? I was already, I had already went back in there and came back out. Yeah, no, but you, and wiped you, it you look like you were crying and all. Like I'm hot. I'm hot sometimes. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> there's no, hey, there's no so difference red. between. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so to bring it back to your point of yeah. the second date, yeah, I got a second date. I hit the nice. tears. Nice. Yeah. See, we're not psychos. We yeah. stuff it down. You. Whatever you're doing is some crazy shit. He said, I'm going to, I'm going to breathe these I'm tears pretend, out. I'm going to fake caring right now to get some pussy. These tears go get me some pussy. Oh, that's <laughs> my, not that big of a deal. My ex-girlfriend, we're still friends now because we got the dog together. We split up almost a year ago now. You hold up, hold up, hold up. You're, you're saying. You guys have like paperwork or she just. Y'all like, have, y'all got, y'all got co-parenting custody of a dog. She keeps the dog. I love that dog so much. I see the dog every once in a while. So I see her in turn. Because so you have visiting rights. Yeah, I got I'm a week, I got weekend custody. Until you piss her off. Uh, here's the thing: that dog had heart surgery when it was a puppy, so we spent like seven grand saving this dog. Only white people would do that shit. It was a puppy. No, no, I'm not. If it was a five year old dog, and it was like, hey, listen, you had a good run. But it was a four-month-old puppy. We adopted. We like we get, we bought the dog. We didn't fucking adopt it. And rescue. Stop the rescue shit. I bought a dog. I don't want to use you dog. Want puppy, you said adopt it. Adopt is not. I got the dog from. Clock. We got it from some sketchy ass place in Arizona. And like a backyard breeder situation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Up a dog with heart problems. Oh, dude, there was pigs there, man. There's <laughs> pigs next to the dogs, and we're, whatever. Well, so, you know the puppies they have to kill. They just feed to the pigs. Shit, man. Oh, I don't want to think about that. Anyway, we got a little Donna, and we thought we had a really chill puppy, and it turns out she had heart surgery. It was just low blood pressure the whole time. So she had the, like the doctor's like, basically, if you don't get the surgery, uh, she's just gonna collapse and die at like a year old. Damn. And we're like, what? So he's like, you can put her down now if you want, or you can ride it out, or you can get this heart surgery. And we saw multiple, th- and all of them were like, you need to get this dog taken care of. So. We put so much into it, and then I got COVID the same week the dog had the surgery. So I was just locked. This is in 2020. So I was just locked in a room with this dog for like 14 straight days. And then you, literally, like, it wasn't allowed to walk. It couldn't let his blood pressure go up and down at all. So you had to keep a puppy calm as shit. So the dog's, like, imprinted on me now. So it's like me and this dog are like that. But I can't take care of it because my job and doing stand-up and all that. So she kept the dog when we split up. So that's why I still see the dog. It is very white people shit. That's a white people shit. I love shit. that fucking dog so much, dude. Is it? It's nothing to do with the girl. No, 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 no. We like, no. If no. your worst enemy had that dog, yeah, I gotta keep the dog. You would still. I, I'd kill, I'd kill one of my siblings for the dog. I'm not kidding. And it's not. <laughs> what kind of dog is it? A little black lab. I just just a regular, dog. Dog. regular, Donna. Donna. regular white dude. old dog. Huh? Donna's the that's best lab- dog in the world. Labrador and a gla- uh, golden retriever. That's just the pit- yeah, yeah, I have a golden just, retriever. Yep. Uh-huh, see, yeah, yeah but, that's the pit bull. No, I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I was seeing her and like, I'm like, go, I'm encouraged. I'm like, go fucking find somebody else. Be happy. Do whatever. I'm not like that. I'm not like, oh, she's fucking other. I don't give a shit. Like we're separate. I don't give a fuck. So she was like, I went on this date with this guy on New Year's, right? Uh, she goes out with a dude. She goes 20 minutes in the date. He starts crying. 20 minutes, 20 minutes in They're at a bar. Just met dude at the bar. What's up? Grabbing a drink. Nothing crazy. She she goes, Oh, what do you do for work? He's like, I'm a paramedic. It's like, all right, that's a cool job. Like whatever. That's kind of cool. She goes, everything's going smooth. 20 minutes in next thing you know, he's bawling, crying at the bar. And she's just like, what? And he's like, I've never met someone so real. You're just the most real person I've ever met in this town. It's so crazy that I'm meeting you. Like, crazy. She looks at the bartender. The bartender just goes like, listen, I got this one. And she's just like, I need to go. <laughs> she just got up and left, didn't pay her tab or nothing. The bartender's like, it's on me, girl. I don't know what the fuck this is. Damn. And he's like, well, she's like, I need to I need to go home. I, I'm, I'm not doing this. And he's just like, he's like, can I have a ride home? She's like, no, what? No, this is insane. You're going to kill me. It's like, and that guy was a paramedic. Like, that's not the dude you want in a high pressure. At all. Like, you broke your arm and some dude's yeah, like crying. Be careful unless you get hurt. Dude, dude, that dude's going to show up at her fuck. I would, 
that guy's gonna skin her and wear it. That's that's some crazy shit. Don't cry. Don't but cry. But the fact that you pulled that off is mind melting to me. It's pretty easy to cry on cue. <laughs> can you what? Could you actually? Nah, like, I have to can you cry? Can you cry on cue right now? How long no. would it take you? It would take me a while. You like said what's well, pretty like, easy. I had to get in that. I had to like. I went into the movie with that mindset. Like, okay, I'm going to cry. <laughs> How long we got on here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we good. I got room for Could eight you hours. Start maybe? building it in your body right now, and in like 20 minutes, just break one halfway through this shit. Uh huh. Is it possible? You said pretty easy. Pretty easy. Twenty minutes. Like you, a movie. A, a, Dude, he's. All, you see how he's looking? Look he's at already him. He's method. Sorry. He's oh, method acting. This is so scary. He's method. This is the scariest thing. Ever. It's uh, like watching the Wolf Man come out. Like, uh, is he gonna? Dude, no. What do you? Th- I don't uh, want to. Wait, can not everybody <laughs> manually turn on their tear ducts? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> can you? Yeah. Yeah. You can make yourself cry. Yeah. You can turn on your tear ducts. Dude, I tried to cry the other day because I haven't cried in years. Like, like, yeah, like, the last time I cried was, like, like, five, six years ago, I think, at least. I've had relatives die and shit. I'm not. And I started to try to cry because, like, maybe I need to. Uh-huh. And halfway through, I was just like, I feel gay right now. Like, I can't do it. <laughs> like, I, I, sto- I physically couldn't do it. Like, I stopped myself. My brain was too, too wi- wired uh-huh. to not to do that. Yeah, that I, 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 I've that- stuffed it down too long. It's The drain's clogged. I can't get anything through it now. But... The, there's a different cry between crying and knowing how to cry, though. Yeah. Like when you, if, I could cry and tears would come down my face, but like if I cry, it with my my eyes are huge, so I'm getting big ass waterfalls coming down. Yeah. So I get coming down my whole face. So there's a difference between Do big eyes mean big tear ducts. I don't know. I don't think so. But it means like, it right? needs to keep a whole lot of surface area. Yeah. I'm starting to get water. <laughs> no, they're yeah. starting to get water. Stop, yeah. stop I, talking I to him. Okay, well, You're distracting him. Talk. He spoke <laughs> first. He spoke first. Put the replay. He spoke. <laughs> so you got wide tear ducts. Why? You got big. They just dump. They yeah. just dump rain. They just dump rain Damn, out dude, I bet there. you're a beautiful crier. Yeah, I, I am. I bet I'm you pretty. I'm nice. pretty. You should have somebody paint you while you cry, Reese. Oh, shit. You could put it up there. That'd be. Uh, my, I heard somebody, well, I've, I've been described as a pretty crier before. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> what, what, I'm just stop trying distracting not to him. I know. He's starting to shake a little bit. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit, he's going to come. We got to. <laughs> <laughs> Till, oh. Ask me a question that's not on this topic while, while he tries while to do he's, this. While I, he's, while he's doing I, I, I this. You got, you got you like. You said you could do it on this command. This was only two minutes. He, yeah, he, it's he, only he, been two minutes. He said it's pretty easy to. This too. is so nuts, dude. This is, it's I don't want to be. It's been two minutes. You can see my eyes. It's watering, right? Yeah. No, it's because. So if, so if we, we were on a dinner thing, right? By the, so if he was doing this. In the background, the whole time we're having dinner, we're eating spaghetti, whatever the fuck. By the time we got to the car, waterworks are going. That's crazy. Yeah, he got. I it, mean, he built it up. Think about it. I don't. I don't know. What he's he's going in a method while he's in his method acting. You <laughs> want to talk about octo yeah, pussy? You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you got. The, he said, "All right, I pre- if you if you get some tears out there." This will be the most impressive thing I've ever I seen. I know. If he could do it. If he could pull it off. I'm going to be honest. Not a lot of like actual professional actors can do as much as I've done right now. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty we'll see when we get the waterworks okay, going. I, I want to see snot. I want to see... Sn- I want to see... Oh, just... I, I can't do that. But okay. All right. Well, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't think anybody can fake cry snot. Mm. Yeah, Unless you got a cold. I don't know. Can you fake cry? You can fake cry it is not like runny? <sighs> nah, come on. There's no way. It's paprika on your nose or something put it in there yeah till till uh oh talk about uh i wanted to hear about octo pussy the squid show squid show oh, yeah. damn well, it why well, i keep this saying is just octo a plug pussy. then i guess yeah the, let's plug a show well, I, I don't i don't care on. about the show i, I want to hear about the actual performance so the squid show is by penny poison who you should have on this show penny, penny poison, poison? Be a fantastic guest. incredible she's yeah. uh, penny she, poison shout out to penny well, poison. i don't want to like blow up her whole thing though yeah, okay well, she's well, i don't yeah i don't want to give away her act but it's a gotcha. it's a bizarre it's a it's a bizarro erotic performance very sexual art. yeah yeah it's erotic performance art involving uh squids and human genitalia. they do it at backstop every halloween it's called the squid show um and it's just full bar packed full of people for this like it's like a strip tease where they do crazy shit they're lighting on like girls lighting herself on fire they're shooting like sparks at her pussy off of a grinding wheel it's it's bananas and then the finale is her doing a the strip tease basically using dead squids an octopus out of a cooler and i mean like dozens of them 
like she's throwing them into the crowd. Like the whole room smells like fish. They got one guy whose job is on squid duty and he's picking up squids from the room. The place smells like a fish market by the end of it. Well, squid duty. He, he literally just picks just up squids picks a, into a bucket, into a fucking bucket. There's a bucket full of squids by the end of it. What is up with you? Are y'all hockey fans? I dabble. Yeah, here and there. I know about the, the dudes throwing squids on the ice, though. What is I don't know about well, that. Someone's what I, what is not, that? Someone throwing squids on the There's ice There's a team here? that throws, they'll throw squids on the ice sometimes for shit. I don't know why. Is there a team this called isn't like my the expertise? I, it, I think it might be the Red Wings, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. The Detroit Red Wings. It, it's my least known sport. I don't know shit okay. about hockey. I just, I was like, I don't, what the Why fuck is the correlation? That? I don't know. That's like know. a thing. My buddy said he he had a like a tube, mm -hmm. like a, a clear they tube. And he, yeah, you yeah. you stuff the squid down there because they're gonna check you. Yeah, and you like put it by you your leg. Yeah, I got squid duty there too. Yeah, they probably yeah. and they just yeah. like throw them onto the they're ice. Smuggling squids, yeah. And there's yeah the and the the that'd be a great place for the next squid show yeah because the, the refs <laughs> at a hockey rink yeah because <laughs> I don't think the refs do it they got a dude who's just the, skating around the zamboni type dudes just rolls through there and he just grabs squids all game because people keep throwing them on the ice every time there's like a fight or like a goal or something <laughs> any stoppage just there's like four or five squids on the ice I've seen the shit though it's okay. crazy I was like that sounds like the say it sounds like a, I don't where know where are these getting squids from like fit, like well I've been they're from near LA. there's squids in Lake Michigan. No, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> There's not in Lake Erie. There, there might be in there in there a deep ocean. Somewhere. <laughs> and if you don't cry, I appreciate this. You're kind of like married I, oh, to the I, crying. Huh? Are you still working on it right no, now? I'm trying to. Have, I can't participate in the conversation and try to cry. I can we? This. All right. Can no, we, he's over. He well, don't gotta cry. You don't gotta. Let, you don't man, gotta let him know. We really hyped this up. I feel like we've disappointed. I, I, I feel like you can attest that my my eyes move water. That was they were starting. Yeah, did, did it? It started. Yeah. We didn't for get a sure. close up. Can we get a? We'll, we'll, we can, we'll do it. We'll do it in hand. We'll right, get it back enhanced. half, back end of the show. Back we end. gotta make it happen because it, it, this will be so anticlimactic. If we cut, whenever this wraps, you, we'll spend twenty minutes. You go outside. You, you know do the rule it. In, you come back in. We'll film it. You know the rule in storytelling: check off the gun. It's if you show a gun, make sure to never fire. You show that. No, you make sure you always use it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not to never fire it. Make sure, um, you fucking it I'm up? Being you fucking it up? Being you better cry, motherfucker, and I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be mad. You're gonna be mad if yeah, he doesn't cry. Yeah, because I bought into this. I thought he was like a serial killer. It's not being a, if people not. It's an acting thing. It's not a serial killer. Thing. They're the same shit. <laughs> every and, actor's yeah. a serial killer. That's why there's no serial killers left anymore. Because like everybody's any. TikTok. Uh, yeah, everyone's <laughs> everybody's just some fake ass actor now. They're all trying to do stupid shit. Kill some people like an adult, you know. Parker. There aren't that many serial killers these days. Not gonna come to think. No, of. I think they're just good at it. Parker, what's your favorite thing about stand-up comedy? Oh, that's a good... I, I really like uh, being the center of attention. Uh, I like public speaking. Uh, I like to I like to be in front of a group of people and make them listen to me. That's my favorite Serial part. killer answer. Yeah. He could have said, like, making people happy. <laughs> he could have said, like, you know, bringing joy when, or making light of things that are hard to talk about. And said, No, he's like, look at me, motherfucker, and you're going to make you look at me, goddamn. Like, yeah, that's okay, some serious. He, he, he did say make. All the same answers, he didn't but I'm say not going to say them out yeah, loud. Yeah, so you have the same opinion. I was just going to say a more political answer. <laughs> I'm being honest about it. So who's the real psycho? That's your favorite thing? King, I mean, you could get that no, from... I, it's I, a very narcissistic pursuit, I think. No matter oh, yeah, what. Oh, yeah. Any, any performing art is a narcissistic pursuit. I don't think music is as much. Oh, totally. You think yeah. so? Yeah, totally. Yeah? We were just talking about how musicians get a ton of pussy. Yeah, but... Is a, that why they got into music? A lot of them. I think, yeah, maybe. Well, but, but that's talking, like, that's like becoming a CEO and having a car and a house, and they say, well, what? Uh, is that why you became a CEO? Yeah, uh, that, <laughs> and to, to run this company to get there. But you can't, like, let out a manifesto with a guitar. You know what I mean? Like, downloading all your crazy thoughts into a group of people is different than, like, playing a riff. Does that make sense? Because getting people dancing and moving. I don't talk about my crazy thoughts on stage. The fuck Every you comedian. That's all we that's talk all about is. on stage is our crazy thoughts. Yeah. What are you talking what about? What are you not sharing? What are you with, I, I tell jokes. What are you not sharing with the class? Yeah, I, you're, I, you're, Parker's you're, killing people. Every <laughs> answer is getting further and further down this hole. Down the whole rabbit hole yeah. of Nah, I don't. You you don't look like a serial killer. You look like no, what's no. what's what's serial though? Four, five. I think the FBI classifies it as three or above. Yeah. A mass shooting is five, and yeah. a serial killer is three. Within a period, like if you do three in a week, I think it's supposed to be three separate instances. Yeah, yeah. it's not together. Not together, but if, you would yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> well, how do you know so much about? Yeah, well, how, how do you know so much about? 
I've seen Criminal Minds. You uh, have a you have a what? I've seen the show. The t- television. You have program. a Criminal Mind. What no, you I've say? seen the yeah, television right. program, Criminal Mind. You do a lot of homework on this. Mm-hmm. No, Are I you just, a crime junkies fan? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't like the YouTube crime shows. I'm not a woman. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They just love Wait, learning so about getting okay, killed. Is it, is it like a masochism thing? Where, uh, women all love to watch documentaries about a woman that looks like them being murdered. I think they all want to think they're important enough to get killed and people would care. Uh, I think the fantasy is being the victim and going like, oh my God, like 800,000 other girls would listen to my story. Damn, told by this soothing ASMR exactly. voice. They don't want to think about just being in a car crash and just being forgotten. Oh, they don't okay. like like their dream is if they're in a car crash, it's Henry Ruggs that hits them. Damn. And at least you get a memorial. You get a, le- you know, because everyone knows what that chick looks like. And the that's why they're watching crime junkies. Yeah, that's, it's that's a fantasy of being like, it's the attention from getting killed. My girl. They'd rather di- clothing of being a stand-up comedian. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. They'd rather die and be remembered. That it's very noble when you think about it. It's, it's like <laughs> fucking Achilles and Troy. It's like it's like no one will remember your name if you don't get stabbed to death in an alley, and then three girls who have just been mainlining cappuccinos for the last six weeks studying this shit. That's, I hate that shit. It's so boring to me. What's your what's up? What's your what's your past time that you said you were playing Sudoku earlier? Uh, what's your past time that's like you're like I can't wait to go home. And I don't do anything but stand up and jujitsu. That's it. I don't do anything else. You I fight? don't watch TV. I do jujitsu. Yeah, I mean it's not fighting. I don't know if it's fighting because I don't do too fight fight like MMA and stuff. That's fighting. Jujitsu guys who are like I'm a fucking badass. Like you just wrestle people. You wrestle. Oh, yeah. you use the the gi, right? I don't do the gi. I'll do the no gi. So it's just strangling people and just wrestling. But it's not. I don't see it as fighting because fighting's like getting punched in the face and stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what pisses me off huh. when comics? Compare getting on the stage to boxing. Makes me sick. Dude, what Who, the I've never heard that. Dude, oh, there's sick. tons of micros that say that. Oh, before. my God. It's the worst. That, that, hold on. They say what? They, they say, say, like, oh, yeah, man, it takes as much guts to get on stage and do comedy as it does to get in the octagon. And I'm like, no, the fuck it doesn't. Can we do my most hated thing about stand-up comedy? Can we just oh, yeah. answer that right now? Uh-huh. Is people that won't quit. Oh, that's it a big one. It makes me, oh, my God. Because everyone's like, oh, it takes balls to get up there. No, it no, doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Yeah. It's 2023. Everyone is supportive. Any bar you go to, any open mic at fucking like Wise Guys or some shit, if you're like, it's my first time, everyone claps and they go, great yeah. job, honey. Yeah. Even if you suck the dick. Yeah. It, it takes courage to realize I'm not good at this. Exactly. I need to give up. Yes. But hold a up. lot of people I need to hear it. Take- people quit comedy, but not officially. God, I hate it so much because they want to be able to just keep people who like haven't been on stage in a few years. Just work in an office. That's not a bad thing, dude. Yeah. Just do it. So so this is the I I don't saying that comedy just because you and we have an easier time going on stage does not mean like public speaking is the number one or number two fear thing in the entire if you have that fear you probably shouldn't do stand up comedy yeah <laughs> yeah but if you have that fit Mitch Hedberg one of the best comedians that I one of the first comedians that I listened to that wasn't black uh-huh. when I was coming up yeah. was Mitch Hedberg and I was like oh my god like he mm-hmm. had stage fright wore sunglasses di- did heroin and drugs yeah. some say to be able to perform w- what about him should he have I quit? guarantee he would have been more scared if he had to walk in the ring with Mike Tyson but the, you're training yeah, for that, way though. Scarier. You, you can't you train for what happens on stage. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, absolutely 100%. not. Every sing, there's never been a there's never been a set that you guys have had yeah. that you have done two times and it's been exactly the same yeah. because there's two yeah. there's two without different a, audiences. Without a doubt, though, I have yeah. no, no, that no. doesn't make it. I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm, totally go ahead. True. For my perspective. Yeah. I have done the same exact set multiple times. Yeah. Yes, and, and they nothing, have gone unless something went wrong. No, not not about something wrong. They're on the first laugh that you get. It would it was probably big on one, that bigger than on one than bigger than the other one. There's two different audiences. There's more people. There's but less in people. All that ups and downs. The show could have just gone okay, and another show that was similar just went okay, or two went good. You know what I mean? The result was still the same. It was still like fighting people. I do jujitsu. That shit, getting choked out in front of your girlfriend is so much worse. It's not even close than bombing on stage. 
it's not even comparable. Well, you're, it's just and that's it, and that's just for, doing a jujitsu match uh, at a fucking gym, getting knocked out in front of twenty thousand people. Yeah, but you're talking about the worst thing in the world of the of the fighting, which is getting like, knocked out like, or getting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're get, you're talking about the worst thing in the world yeah. about getting about fighting and getting knocked out. Yeah. Or getting choked out in front of your girlfriend. Yeah. Than just getting on stage. But here's the thing. All right, if a professional comic right does let's like a pro pro right fucking Shane Gillis. He's doing 10,000 seaters every weekend. He's doing, let's say, 150 shows a, a year. All is a theater show, let's say. Right? Big I'm shows, big stakes, all this, right? Big stakes. Of those 150, Shane Gills maybe has one or two that go aw awry-ish. You know what I mean? And he's a pro pro. Professional boxers, two of them walk into the ring. One of those motherfuckers getting fucked up. Yeah. Is a 50-50 chance on every fight you have, you're going to get knocked the fuck out. But you're comparing physical pain to like emotional and no, mental. No, physical pain is worse. And huh? Physical no, pain is that, worse. That's, you don't believe, you that's not true. You have the emotional pain after of I just got my ass kicked. And I lost, and it's a highlight reel. And boxing, it's not even comparable. I think you're comparing it's so the. Much it, worse. It's, it's, it seems like you're comparing yeah. the pride version of of a boxer and how he would feel after defeat yes. than just a, a person is getting up on stage. You like psychologically, yeah. mentally, you have no idea what a person is going through or when they have to go on stage or what they're talking I'm about saying, or the traumas that I'm not saying mental, it's not like it's not bad. bad. It's they're incomparable though. Yeah. They're just like, they're not I, the I've same never, thing. I'm just following you guys' yeah. theory. I've yeah. never heard people compare Dude, all that the time. to boxing. Yeah, all the so yeah. now I'm, I'm just taking a point of, um, I, I would think like, I would genuinely think that fighting is not, I'm, Jerry Seinfeld has a joke. Mm -hmm. um, really? If there was a if there was a funeral, what's the deal with that? <laughs> what's yeah. the deal with funerals? Uh, if, if there was a if if there was a funeral uh -huh. and somebody had to speak yes. at the funeral, that person would rather be in the casket. Yeah, more people are afraid of public speaking than death. One hundred percent. That means more people in the audience would rather be in the casket than speaking on the funeral. So doesn't yeah. that say that being on stage is harder than fi fighting? Because you could die at boxing. Before. Yeah, I feel like if you took someone who has stage fright and said, okay, you can either go talk to this crowd of people or a professional fighter can kick your ass. Yeah, but you're not a compa <laughs> like, you're comparing two separate okay, things, that's though. That's the point. But that's the point. <laughs> no, it's but like, a professional fighter against a regular person just overcoming yeah. stage fright. It, stage that's fright, too though, stage fright isn't just speaking. Stage fright is being in front of a lot of people. So if you're like fighting, it's the same shit. The reason they make that like boxing analogy for some reason is like if I learn, a it's a bunch of dudes who have never boxed. I've never heard it. Dude, it's crazy. But. They're like, oh, because the, the crowd's going to throw different stuff at you and you got to adjust to it and do this and that. It's like, no, because that means the crowd, they see it as like, when they make that analogy, like the crowd is an adversary. They're like, the crowd wants you to lose. It's like, no, they all want to have a good time. Yeah. All those people want to have a good time. You know what I think a lot of comics forget? Yeah. At the end of the day, comedy clubs, you know what they are? They are a bar with a gimmick. Yeah, it's a show like, bar, and it's, it's a good a, time. Yeah. It's yeah, great. Like, like, a restaurant with a stage. Like Wise Guys LA, any comedy club in the city, they are a bar. They make probably 70% of their income on drink sales. Yeah. And then Tickets. comedy parts are very, very small. Unless it's like a big, big, like big ticketed event. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah but they, they still, if you're a big comic, you're not going to Wise Guys and not taking a door. Exactly. So they, yeah. they all their money is from that. Yeah, and if they're yeah. And if they're paying, if somebody's doing a... um. If somebody's doing a um, capped out show, they're giving mm -hmm. them five hundred dollars for that. They're hoping yeah. that they get people to come in exactly. so they can you make that know money my back. Theory on why they can't get as big of headliners in, in Vegas as they get in the Salt Lake Club? Do you want to hear my theory? What's on your that? theory? Yes. Okay, so when comics go to Salt Lake, Wise Guys is the biggest and best comedy venue in the state of Utah. When comics come to Vegas, there's the Strip, and a lot of those hotels have non compete clauses when you work for them. Yeah, so they, they all can't it. headline anywhere else in Vegas. So the smaller, yeah, like if I'm Joe Rogan, and I come to Vegas. Am I am I gonna go do Caesar's Palace or am I gonna do? Yeah, two hundred two comedy. Yeah, club? oh yeah, you're no, yeah, he's never. Well, they outbid yeah. too, or they'll just charge more because it's more expensive to stay here and this. And, but yeah. Two, yeah, you could probably they could probably charge theater prices. Rogan mm -hmm. could charge five hundred dollars yeah, a ticket. Wise guy seats two hundred people. That's a yeah. 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 yeah, that'd be crazy. That that'd be insane. But it's I. What that's a hate? that's Wait. a good that's a good theory. What do you hate about stand up comedy? All right, we'll just give him a second. <laughs> um, what am I hate about stand-up comedy? Uh, generally, generally, I really like comedy. Yeah, I enjoy uh, it a lot. I like it quite a bit. It's a good time. What am I? I uh, I don't like that 
nothing against people who have podcasts, but um, I don't like how like much you have to do internet content to make it in comedy nowadays. Like I do stand up comedy because I like doing comedy. Mm-hmm. I don't enjoy doing internet con like make like I like being guest on other people's podcasts, obviously. But mm-hmm. like you I hate like making, making like TikToks. I don't like making TikToks. I don't want to mm. make. I don't want to run my own podcast. It's just not for me. Just don't do it. I yeah, but like it's such a big part of the business. Though. No, you don't gotta do it. It's well, fine. we'll tie. Well, let's. I'm gonna tie that back into. You guys talked about um, your your ha- most hated thing, which mm. it ties dude's into this. Dude's not quitting. Is dude's not quitting. The mics so, take too long. So a dude not quitting. Say you, you could be a comedian for the rest of your life. You work a nine to five job, make fifty thousand dollars a year. You go do features, headline. Mm-hmm. You you could do that. Your income is good. You don't have to do shows all the time. Mm-hmm. You can do that. As a comedian, you have the only way to become good. You, you you don't have to be good as a comedian, but you have to be out there. The only way to go is to put. Can I clarify? Go ahead. I don't mean people who suck when you start. I mean, if you've been doing it 10 years and you can't do 15 minutes, get the fuck off the stage. Yeah. Hang it up. Can't do. Yeah, you're, is that the goal? Is that the. I you're stop allowed it. to be shitty for at least a yes. couple years. I'm still shitty. I'm couple, shitty as shit. Couple years? Yeah. yeah what's yeah, what's the threat? Years. What would you like? If someone if someone told me they were 10 years in and they and they, they didn't have like. Like a half they, hour they or something? Have, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't even. Yeah. If you, if yeah, you get to yeah. at 20, a good 20 minutes in 10 years, like. D- that's remedial. Yeah. No, you got to knock yeah, it out. Yeah. That, in the hours. The problem is, motherfuckers got kids. That's and the, that's and the it's that's the shit that's fucked up is like I'll see dudes with families with like young kids, and they're going nowhere, and you know they're going nowhere. Nothing's working at all. Like there's dudes that have families that are fucking great comedians, like uh, fucking Jimmy McMurrin's hilarious family, killing it. Uh, Brady fucking hilarious family, killing it. That's not what I mean. I mean dudes are at like open mic level, that are like they're at the bar with me and him every night. Yeah, we're what I'm 27. Every night they're with me. Every night. I don't have a family. I don't have responsibilities. I don't have shit. This is all I do. They're doing the same thing, and I know they got a six-year-old at home. And I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want to name names, but I have. All the time. We don't need to. There's, no, no, 50, no. there's 500 I don't want to name names. This is, Watch this your is damn a, kids this, so they don't do this shit, too. This is a specific story. <laughs> so you hate. That's, it sounds like you I hate, hate comedy. So I'm, I'm at an open mic, and a comic who will remain nameless yeah. said, hey, my kids are in the car. Can you watch them? While I go on stage. Take the kids from them. Take them. If if I don't care if a parent's doing cocaine in front of their child, if they're doing stand up comedy, take them. Let, let's flip it. What isn't that dedication? What if on their eleventh year? You, what if on their eleventh year of sucking yeah. and they can't do fifteen minutes? Yeah. On their eleventh year, they they do a world tour. That'd be very problematic. That would be. That'd be ludicrous. I can do fifteen minutes. I can't. There's no opportunity. There's not. Bro, even this is the thing. This it's not a. It's not. It's not about how good you are. Mm-hmm. There's people selling out wise guys right now that just have a social not media following. Name any names, but the guy. It's more okay. I think like it, it's just the the, it, dudes, <laughs> the dudes that randomly like blow up out of nowhere. It's they that blow same up thing. from like, the internet though. They don't, no, no, they but they they, they could already do an hour, an hour and a half. They were already great. They just weren't found yet. If you suck and the internet finds you, they're just gonna find out you suck. You know what I mean? No, a hundred percent incorrect. There, there's who, so many p- who sucks is big that can tour that really, sucks that really at, sucks at, are I we mean, talking about like sucks like are we talking about stand-up comp there's yeah. people that book themselves as comedians that don't even do stand-up comedy they do their sketches that they did from the internet and they're selling out that's a different thing that is what i'm talking about it don't matter that's, like, that's, that's not like, an open yeah, mic that's guy like influencer bullet. yeah that's, that's not what i mean out. i mean stand-up comedians who are at open mics who can't string together a good five minutes and are neglecting their families for it they get, they got to be taken to the back and shot. I'm I'm with that. You I, got, I won't, yeah, I'm, just, kill it. You I'm with it. I just I'm just looking at and like, like, people we, like well, it's dedication. It's like no, nah, you're a parent. You should be dedicated to your kids, man. Yeah, I, you got to. You're the most your moral kids. comedian I've ever met. You well, should I'm go take opinion. care of your. You should go take care I, of your child I, and not be out here trying to pursue your yeah, career. Or passion. Fucked up families are bad. That's the th- that's why I have like re- like. That's have, why you love. I your, personally have a time limit. I know if I don't have a certain amount of success by a certain age, a deal I've already made with myself, I'm done. I know that. Do you, so you have a backup plan? Well, like you get just a real job and like a master's. Yeah, I yeah. But a, you in a you have a mental have a you have that. a mental <laughs> you have a mental if stand up comedy fails in your head. Yes. Oh, I definitely don't. Yes. I have a no, I have no, a, just a so I don't end up that forty five or, or at least a reassessment plan to really be like. So what you said, is, is it 45? Life? Like, you do this for 17 years? You're, you're no, done? way shorter than that. 
Which, what's, way what's the number? If I'm 35 and I can't headline regularly and like move around and do make money from it, that would be roughly 10 years for me. I'm not. No, this is crazy. How many years would you have to, I have to show How many progress years would it take? to where I'm if making you're... a good amount of money to see I can move on? If I was at 10 years in, I'm only making like two grand off of doing this shit. You got to hang it up. Just stop it. What's your, if you, Just stop you do comedy think, for 10 years and you I, say, I, th I think even if I never actually like made it to where I was a professional comic, I would mm -hmm. always still do it. Like I would do feature spots and guests. I like doing it. Yeah. Uh, I've got a job right now that like worst case scenario, I could do this for the rest of my life. So I like, yes, I like being a tour guide, you know, I could, that's, I'm going to do that until comedy pays the bills. But if worst case scenario, I just do tour. But guide. you're on the fence with having a family. Uh, I'm not on the fence. I'm on the no family. Fence. He's on no I'm family on train. No I'm on family train. If you're I a family no, train. Yes, well, we was, knew that about a puppy. If I was yeah. content with dying alone, I agree. Yeah, I'm totally <laughs> cool Isn't it? I mean, shit. The, the life of a comedian is not for everybody. You travel all the time. You're on the road. I like I like meeting strangers. Hell I like, yeah. yeah. Traveling on the mm -hmm. road. I don't. Uh, I like being like a wanderer. Yeah, I get you that. Know what I mean, I just I want a family. I want my jeans going on. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think want I have great jeans. Yeah. All right, so jeans, making man, it, what jeans. is what is making it to you, Parker? Uh, not being able to sustain myself, uh, like financially, and not have a other job. Yeah, same. It's and not my, my ultimate, ultimate goal. Like, if I could have any gig in the world, any I, gig in the world, I want to have a residency on the strip. That'd be my ultimate goal. What hotel? Caesars. Why? Why Caesars? It's like a very classy establishment. By You're then, the second it person. It's Roscoe says Bro, the same thing. You gotta think further. Ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I want. He said. He said there's gonna be a new. Yeah, there's gonna you, be a you, new one. They're gonna be blowing up Caesars by then. Hopefully not, man. Caesar's yeah. Damn. Yeah. Are you saying it's, it's gonna be far out before he gets to residency? See, no, yeah. Of if, course yeah. Is. If you don't start your damn social media, it will be. It's gonna be a long ride. It'll be a love, but, no, but Caesars will be the flamingo by basically, then. Basically, you know? uh, Carrot Top is li living my dream. Yeah, he, he, he's gig. the most successful stand-up comedian in Nevada. Fifteen million dollars hey, a year. I love that you qualified it. That's in, a lot of money, in man. Nevada. <laughs> like that shit. I don't know who's over in Arizona killing it, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want I can sustain myself and a family. That's all. So I don't want to be poverty level. I want to be making enough money. I can. If sustain I can a have family. like an apartment and a car, yeah. and my cat, all taken care of. Apartment, okay. a car, cat. Yeah. Your house, your lady, and your dog. Probably multiple baby mamas. Multiple baby. It's so that's probably, the, it just statistically speaking. So you're trying you to be. A you're a stand up with the comedic. You're you're a stand up with the rock star lifestyle. No, I just I think it'd just be accidents. It's not like I'm just gonna try. I think I'm just gonna. Fall. Statistically speaking, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna knock somebody. You're gonna knock somebody. Either that or I'm infertile. <laughs> oh, and I'm sir. afraid to find out because I've never had a scare. So I'm just like, never had a scare. I never had one where I was like, oh, I mean, I've I've dumped a clip and then be like, <laughs> get Plan B, but like I haven't been like, oh shit, she she tested hot. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, I once had a pregnancy scare when I was in high school. Uh, not Did me, you? The girl I was saying. Uh, but uh, a girl or a girl? No, no, she was a woman. All right, not a uterus. Everything. What is a woman? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what'd you so do? So she like she like didn't get her period for like a while, right? Yeah. And then um for a while. Yeah, like a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby. <All> right. <laughs> oh, two day anyway, scare. Oh. Diving to the to Planned Parenthood. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God and then, damn. And then, and then she got her period on the drive. On the drive. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say something, and I don't know. She could have been trying to trap you. Uh, have you thought about that? Well, here's the thing. Although don't you don't have any, you're in high school, you don't have any money to here, trap. Here's the thing. <laughs> but uh, there's crazy. She has a kid now with another guy. How old is that kid? Is uh, it around the same age where you? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. You have to, <laughs> ma I, don't worry. I'm math ain't math. Yeah, I, do you know what's crazy? At my age, I already have three ex-girlfriends with kids. Really? Yeah, I have three exes We won't kids. get it. And they all got, uh, they all, they, like, they, we broke up, and then the next guy they dated was the baby dad. Man, none of mine have kids. I keep, I'll keep tabs. None of them. None of them. None of them. That's what I'm nah, talking well, about. Going back to the first girl I ever had, none of them are kids. You, shit. Man, that's, I, I mean, have, that's impressive. I ruined some pussies. You got some, you ruined some <laughs> pussies. Like, I like to think I broke them. <laughs> <laughs> you broke them, and every time he leaves them, they get a baby by somebody. Do you want to know, you know something fucked up? What's fucked up? I have a life insurance policy with my job right now. I get a good job. Who's the beneficiary? That's so. Uh, you want some? I'll give you some. I'll give both of you some. You give both of you. It's like it's like half a million dollars. Oh shit. Yeah. Um. So I don't want it going to my family, really, like my siblings at least. I don't have next to kin other than them. They'd be close. I want to give some to my parents, but I, I don't want to leave my brother and sister like a hundred thousand dollars. I'm not doing that shit. You not like them? 
Not a big fan. Okay. Not a big fan. Not right now, at least. If they win me over, but right now, I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> leaving, them. I'm not leaving them anymore. I don't really have a relationship with either of them. So, um, I'm like, who am I going to give this fucking money to? Now, if I have a family, of course, it's going to them. But I want to give every girl I've ever dated a thousand dollars for every month they were with me for mental damages. Hmm. So, like my last girlfriend, three years, she's getting thirty six, thirty six thousand dollars. Thirty six check from 000. my estate. And I've made this like known to m tons of people. I don't have a written will yet, but I've made it known that like my dad is going to be the person who has to handle the money. Assuming I get hit by a bus tomorrow or some shit. A thousand dollars a month is a lot of money. I That's just, a lot of damn like money. A month. No, no, it's 400K. I got to get rid of all of it. Fuck it. So like I'm going to give out. Uh, so uh, here, this is on the record right now. Uh, Chloe's getting $36,000. Um, Brittany's getting eight. Uh, Allie's getting probably like 1,800 or 18,000 rather. Um, uh, Sarah, fine. She'll get three. Uh, Sarah's getting three. She's getting 3,000. And then uh, Alex will get uh, $18,000. Does uh, in a check to their estate. And honestly, I'll give them some extra to pay for the taxes. So fuck it. Whatever percentage that is, hook them up. And then. Uh, what about. Um, Reese is getting 2K. Nice. Parker's Reese getting, getting 2K? Two. Nice. Yeah. No, what is that? What does Kelsey behind a dumpster get? Uh, I'm not giving it to nothing like that. Nothing behind that. Given, no chick if nah, you hit nah, her in no the car. Shit, okay. Uh, no. She, you gotta be officially, officially together. Officially a girl. Or at least to seen me long enough that the mental damage could have set in to pay. It's like, it's Why like a mesothelioma feel, you, type thing. You do know? you feel that you, you don't feel that you, you <laughs> owe these women that. You don't feel like you put them uh, through mental things. I don't, I'm a lot to deal with. I never like beat anybody or anything like well, that. No, but, no, like, not in a bad, but like, you don't, you don't. I can very, start. <laughs> I don't beat Psychologically, <laughs> I can undress somebody pretty bad. I like, and not like berating them or anything like that. Just making them think crazy thoughts. Like Gaslight. I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know. I'm, oh, and I'm the psychopath. <laughs> oh, city uh, got you back. <laughs> I just, I'm very passionate and like, I get to like, all right, if a girl asks me like a crazy ass question, I'll get to the point where they are afraid to ask crazy questions because I'll give the worst answer they could ever ask. So like if they're like, oh, what do you think about her or whatever? Like, I'll fuck her. I don't care. Like, I'll just say the worst thing so that then the next time they ask me some bullshit ass question like that, they're like, do I really want to ask this? And that's not a good mindset to live in. It's walking on eggshells. It's not good. They said, are we, when we leave, when we leave this store, is the car to the left or the right? Do yeah. I really want to ask him this? Exactly. <laughs> do I guessed. really want to ask him this? I'm going to make the worst <laughs> argument you've ever seen because I don't want to deal with it again. So I just go nuclear anytime I have a minor inconvenience. And not like yelling and screaming, just like dissecting it really bad. And I'm just, I, yeah, well, they deserve, they deserve have, every well, dime. Well, do you think you're autistic? No. Oh, this is <laughs> fucked up. They <laughs> took that from, it used to be a running joke that I was autistic. Right, that right. was funny. Right, that's what I was referencing. I'm a spastic person. <laughs> but now all of a sudden girls, every girl on TikTok's autistic. Have you noticed that? Oh, I don't, I don't go on TikTok. I used to work for TikTok and I know, I know better than We got to talk about it in a sec. Yeah. But uh, like every girl on social media is like, I have autism and these are my quirks forever. It's like, no, Chris Baldock's fucking autistic. That dude is diagnosed. He is autistic. Every oh, girl who Florida. blinks too much. I'm just from Florida. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Every That's girl cool. who blinks too much is not autistic. And it's like this new fat. Like remember when everybody was depressed? And then uh -huh. everybody had anxiety. Yeah, and autism is hot right now. Everybody has. <laughs> autism is hot. It's the <laughs> fucking thing to do. It's very fashionable. But I was ironically saying I had autism before, and now everyone thinks it's like real. And I'm like one of those fucking people, so I can't joke about me being on the tism. Mm. Mm. It sucks. They took your joke. They took. It's not even a joke. It was just funny because I like puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you mentioned the puzzle. Was it, don't that, say my job. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. There's lots of engineering gigs. Yeah. But yeah, that's my day job. We, cut um, that, cut that. Parker, no, we, it's, um, it's, I'm not saying where. Gotcha. Cool. I've worked for some crazy places, but a different time, a different day. Parker, what did you do with TikTok? Please so, explain, because this is uh, nuts. This is the craziest shit I've ever heard. I'm with it. Okay, TikTok, what so happened? We all remember the pandemic, yes? Sure. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice seg nice yeah, segue. Boo. Stop talking about it. <laughs> so, you know, everyone, like, Vegas was shut down, shut down. I had mostly worked in, you know, various tourism jobs my whole life, so this was a, there was none of that going on. Right? Mm -hmm. So I got a job as a content moderator for the website TikTok. A content in moderator. In like, during 2020. So I worked there from, like, March of 2020 to, like, July of 2021, and it was a work-from-home office job, and they need people to be on the website all hours of the day. So my shift was midnight to 9 a.m. five days a week. So from midnight to 9 a.m. five days a week for over a year, I watched TikTok. 
But the trick was the, the catch nine was, hours straight. And the catch was you weren't allowed to kill yourself. <laughs> so uh, it was an interesting job. I ended up quitting. So you had to what? So the job was you just watch so they, shit. They, they gave me like a book of rules. They're like here's all the rules. Uh, study them. And basically, I I worked in the department where I would just like if any I wasn't seeing only flagged videos. Mm-hmm. My department was like if any video hits seventy thousand, a human has to see it. <laughs> so any vi- TikTok video hit seventy thousand views. Uh, we watched it and we basically sorted it into different categories based on what yeah. was in the video. And this then, fascinates me. It's yeah. so crazy. What's shit the wildest you- shit you see? Dude. Uh, dude, there was this one. Oh, dude, what's really funny is mo- it was most of the people who worked there as moderators were like old people who like didn't know how the internet works. And like, I don't know, me my age, like, it was very common to watch like fucked up videos. You guys grew up with the internet. Oh, right? yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, watched up like, you know, fucked up like shit on the internet. Heads right? cut off. And, and one, yeah, one day there was this video that people kept posting on the website of this guy blowing his head off with a shotgun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, you with, remember the, that? with like that, 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 that triple bear, the double tube one. Right, right, right. That crazy so, yeah, ass we had, future like, shot. several meetings about that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking, I posted that video a lot. <laughs> shit. That was those people going like, this is what? That was on TikTok? Some yeah, blues. yeah. Yeah, he did on Twitch. This, yeah, this guy blowing his head off on, the people kept posting. It was like a, a bit to like keep posting it over and over again to piss off the moderation team. Uh, so uh, a lot of these people were having like fucking psychological meltdowns about having to watch a video of a guy shooting himself. In the head dude, you were in the front lines against 4chan. Yeah. You like, <laughs> and like, dude, they. You uh, never seen that shit? Uh uh-uh. uh. I'll show it to you later. They ended up getting a. Uh, I don't think I want to see that. They, they ended up hiring a therapist, and if you wanted to, really, it was it was you could see the therapist one hour one hour during your shift once a week. And it was paid, and I didn't care. Like I yeah, wasn't yeah. like emotionally upset, but I'm like, yeah, I'll see this. You're not gonna take your paid time off. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking paid you... time off, and I would just fucking chat with. This that lady. was your smoke break. Oh yeah, I literally just video chat with this lady at three o'clock in the morning for an hour. Jesus <laughs> Christ, that's so great. <laughs> Yeah, so how were you? So you went midnight to nine a.m. watching this shit. How did you not just like? Because a lot of it had been basically just porn, right? Um, most of it, uh, like in pl- like TikTok porn. Like, yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. It's just like mm, girl shaking her ass. And, yeah. You know, how do you not shit. just like go onto a porn bender, see, getting that? Because you must have like brainwashed you. Like it, uh, it wasn't like it, it was a, a lot of it was porn, but a lot of it was just like fucking weird shit. <laughs> that's a, well, I would be I would be weird shit, weird shit. Ah, oh, fuck! Now I gotta go jerk off. Like yeah. that would be me. <laughs> no. Yeah, five yeah, times a night. I definitely jerked off on occasion. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. Damn, dude. But yeah, I would just like throw on a. Uh, I would just throw on like a Twitch streamer on my YouTube uh-huh. TV and then just like, zone out. You know, yeah. And honestly, I didn't. I was. In, I was very bad at TikTok monitoring. I was, <laughs> I was gonna not, say. By, by the end of it, I was just kind of clicking whatever. <laughs> <You didn't laughs> <watch it. laughs> I love that people. Cause so you can just pass something through. Because yeah, there yeah. are, and like, like shadow bannings and shit. That shit totally happens. Like, a lot of, like, whatever your political ideology, yeah, I think a lot of that shit gets forget. censored. But some what of the people shit forget? is just I think Parker. A lot, people, like, a lot of people think that, like, 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 oh, they're trying to censor me. I'm like, I guarantee you it's much more likely the, the content moderator just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. He was just trying to look like he was busy. Unless you're big, like, if you're posting some anti-COVID oh, yeah, shit no, or stuff, that happened. gets censored. Not, I didn't get any, like, big, big yeah, account. Yeah. Like, Charlie D'Amelio yeah. like, got, came across my desk. But if you're a medium-sized account and you're like, what the fuck, they banned me, it's just Parker was high. Like, that's <laughs> <all> it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just, it was just Parker's like, oh, I'm fucking It's a good-ass <laughs> moderator. <laughs> What's the best said, job you ever had? The one I currently have. Okay. And that is? Being a tour guy, I give tours at the Grand Canyon. You give tours at the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Do you do stand up? Yeah, I'll on be, the tours. Yeah, it's called comedy on deck tours. It's a comedy tour. You just talk shit for what six hours? Uh, so damn, yeah. I didn't think about that. That's a long ass time. So, yeah, basically, what we pick people up at, like I, I don't drive the bus. I got a bus driver with me. We're on one of those like big ass like six. It'll characters. be hard to do stand up and drive the bus, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Y'all hear about that time the cliff? <laughs> <laughs> So I, we pick people up at their hotels on the Strip. Then we go to the Vegas sign, go to breakfast at Omla House on Boulder Highway. Mm, very and good then, spot. Very good yeah, spot. And then Is it the, Omla yeah. House? We oh, go Omla to the House Hoover back. Dam. Then we go to the West Room of the Canyon, go to two different places, then drop them back off at the Strip. Does that Omla House have a deal with y'all? Yeah. I think I'd be cleaning up with that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It packs the whole place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The tour is so, yeah, a lot send, of people going on a tour? All the bus we, spend, we probably have, like, typical day, like, four breakfast. Canyon buses that go there for breakfast, and mm-hmm. then like two or three Hoover Dam buses that go there for lunch. So we send a lot of people there, like yeah. a lot of people yeah. every day. Um, what was it? Drive and all then, the way out. Yeah, yeah, we probably spend like throughout the day about six hours in the bus. Mm-hmm. I probably talk for about four of those hours. And honestly, I'll say that like since you started doing that, 
You're just way better on stage. I, I don't think it makes you funnier, but it gives you it makes you better at certain fundamental skills of stand-up. Your, that's what I'm saying. Your demeanor yeah. and the way you, like... Reading a, it makes you a lot better at reading a room. So your pacing, your demeanor, and like the your stage presence in general is just better. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I noticed it. But like, there are, I'm not going to name any names, but there are some people who. Oh, it doesn't help everybody at all. No, That's, no, no. There's yeah. some people who do the tours and they think that like doing the tours is stand up. And like if it if it satisfies the same urge as doing stand up to you, then good for you. But like it does not do that for me. No. Like I, after I get off a tour, I don't feel like I just did a set. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Is it. What, what's the. What, I mean. So here's the difference. When I'm doing stand-up comedy, I'm just trying to make people laugh for a very, like, sh- relatively short interval of time. When I'm doing a tour, I have to make 50 strangers like me for 10 hours. <laughs> Basically, a call girl. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a lot. I, n- I know there's Cheap a big difference, but I'm just is, imagining. The, the whole job is basically just, like, making sure they're having a good time. And, and you're talking like, about, you're making jokes about. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, hey, look at this thing. Here's a joke. Like, you're oh, kind of water cooler funny. You're making fun yeah. at stuff. You're not coming up with shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. am, uh, it's like hack tour guide jokes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do, it's, I'm a that sounds hack. funny. We also have an agreement between all the tour guides that we can steal jokes from each other. Oh, really? So we do each other's jokes. Yeah. That's funny. What's, yeah. what's a joke of somebody yeah, else's you do on the tour? This is Ralph Tatella's uh, tour bus joke. Ralph Tatella is one of the tour guides, and I use one of the guys. What, our training is just you go on someone else's tour. Uh huh. And we're like, see how he does it, and then kind of figure out how you want to do it. Oh, okay. And um, so I'm going on Ralph's tour, and he goes, all right, guys. Now, there might be rattlesnakes out here at the canyon today. So if you see a rattlesnake, here's what you do step on its neck, then call me over. I want to see it too. <laughs> That's yeah, that's yeah, right. it's, that kills on the tour. Yeah, I'm sure. That, it slaughters. It slaughters. People shaking uncontrollably. Uh, Dude, yeah. I'm one of those, like, there's a handful of tour jokes that I have. I'm like, all right, no matter. Because sometimes the bus like it does isn't into the comedy. Yeah. So there's a handful of jokes like that one included. Just like, melts. Always, always it always if they don't like it or not. White people slap like, their leg. Black people are running around. It's, a whole, <laughs> it's just killing. Have you have you guys seen that uh the <laughs> black people react? To in all, comedy all clubs, I've seen everyone. What? To every black people react is so funny. It's the best. Yeah, uh, the black people react to we we all react. We rock. With it's this, the best. Taking black people the, laugh is the best time ever. The black how the black people react to um, uh, magician. Mm-hmm. To we're the cow. We're stationary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody's gonna roll yeah. around. Like, uh huh. <laughs> you, you feel feel good. What um react to what at comedy club? Oh, uh, have you guys seen the black people react to um? Like they react to magicians when yes. they tell them yeah, a bad joke. It's the best. It makes me so happy. I don't know why, but I love that shit. Like black people react to magic is, it's all. It's like one of those sit down and try not to smile. Like you just have to. It's I saw like, one today that was uh, this dude is a math genius. He mm-hmm. was a he was like seventeen or eighteen years old guy in the neighborhood. You got a group of black people around him and they got their cell phones out and Every they're telling time, yep, him they're yep. like, hey. Give me, they're giving him four different numbers. What's 56 uh-huh. times 72? And he sits there for a second and he does this and he says 5,748. Uh-huh. Everybody just runs around they like it's just shit. It's out of his body. Call him a hood genius. This is my first time ever seeing that. Yeah. With something. Called a hood genius? It, well, he was called a hood genius oh, yeah. for being able to oh, yeah, yeah. fast thinking calculator. But that's the, do they, how do, how do they react on the tour? But what is the, what is the con- convulsions that they do when you hit them with that rattlesnake bit? Mm. A lot of it's, uh, uh, so here's the thing. It's like six o'clock in the morning when I, when I, meet uh-huh, them. Uh-huh. and a lot of them, <laughs> you meet them at six in the morning, just about so six you gotta be your seven. own opener. Yeah. Yeah. So and a lot of people don't know that it's uh, a comedy tour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they're just like, dude, that's I the worst thing gonna, in the world. Like, they're pissed when they see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, dude, I thought I was going to nap. And oh, then I'd, I'd, over. I'd <laughs> wake up at this fucking hole in the ground. Yeah. And now I, Oh my God. That is the work, bro. That's, I'd be so pissed. Take this, take this guy. But, the rat do you start with the rattlesnake bit? No, no, no. I, uh, you saved I, it. I, I, oh, yeah, that's one, close to the can. That's one, closer. What are you you gonna uh, open with that? You can't honest, follow it. Honestly, I do most of my, my good stuff in the morning. Oh, yeah, and then because everyone's tired at the end of the day. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. What in the but, world? Uh, what was I gonna so, say? three, what is it, two and a half hours out, two and a half hours back? Two, two and two, basically. Yeah, two and two. Yeah, it's just the West Room. Yeah, 
Uh, one of the ones I like to open with, this is only if I can tell the bus is cool. This is kind of a riskier one. This is also a cool. hack tour guide joke. Okay. Hack tour okay. guide Dude, joke. I love this. I love this. Okay, so I go, a lot of people tell me they want to see the Grand Canyon before they die. Now, some of you come to close, but we're going to go ahead and... Uh, nah, they're old. Uh, hey, they're old, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could have some sort of humor in that my That also job. does pretty well. It does. Yeah. It... That's an oh fuck laugh. I, that's, I'll say that sometimes it's the very first thing I say on the bus, and it's like, oh. Mm. Day. Oh wow! I yeah. like well, this guy's dark. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I can't laugh at work anymore. I realized that the other week. You what? can't laugh at work. I like, I'm in an office, right? I'm in like a regular corporate type job. I'm just an engineer, so I'm with just regular, regular office people, and like they make joke, and I can't uh, laugh at them. Yeah. I don't know how to do it. I don't find it funny, and like part of like being a person there is like just you know you know you ever say somebody laugh. Say something kind of funny-ish in your circle of people, and everyone laughs, and you're just like, and they're like, "What the fuck's wrong yeah, with this you're asshole?" Like you're supposed to just laugh because it's contagious. You're supposed to be a good person, right. but I don't know how. I don't know. I can't fake it. Outside of my family, I hate there's it. one non-comedian that I talk to regularly. Really? Yeah, I don't really have that many non-comic friends. Well, like my jujitsu buddies are hilarious. Those dudes are psychos. Like they 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 talk shit to each other. Half of them fight MMA. A lot of them are like cops or military, just rough dudes. So, like, they talk shit. They're fun. But just office humor, it breaks my soul so much. Mm, it's yeah. just... Yeah, I hate how people behave in offices. But it, <laughs> well, it's like this... You don't like office people? Uh, I don't like office culture. Yeah. W- what about sure office all, culture? I'm sure they're all totally cool people outside of work, but there's something about being in an office that makes people just the worst. That's why you're... That's why you, you, you went to the opposite side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's a mix because it's like... It's not even that they're they're fake... It's like people that laugh when they just go, ah, you know how that goes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, where was the, I don't, where's the, the joke? what's the joke? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't get, and then we're all just laughing. It's like, ha, coffee. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't know what's funny about this, but you're smiling and I have to smile back at you. And I'm not going to do it because I don't, I, I, I must, they must think I'm a biggest piece of shit. I don't know. I mean, it's the killing, the killing, the dead frog, poking the dead frog. Yeah. When you, when you dissect the jokes and you're, you're a stand up comic. So you write, it's hard. You're, for, yeah. You don't care. You don't like aren't as entertained by comedy. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the opposite. I love stand up. Really? I love shit makes me laugh. I not, I don't have that at all. I love laughing. Shit makes me laugh. I like funny shit. There's shit. You just don't me, like funny shit I, when I, you're working. I don't laugh at stuff. that's not funny. That's the thing. Mm. So it's just when I I yeah. laugh at the dumbest shit all the time. I don't need it to be highbrow. I laugh at memes. I'm not like the oh this fucking oh that's not. But I'm just like when you just say hey coffee in the morning. <laughs> there's no joke. There's no nothing there. Yeah, but five, reason. it's killing, and I don't know what's happening. Yeah, that's another reason I don't want kids. Cause like, have you ever been to like a kid's birthday party? Like, I've yeah. been to like my nephew's birthday party. Yeah. And all the parents they just look brain dead. Yeah, yeah like, kind of like, my oh, parents God, weren't. Yeah. My parents weren't like that. So it was. How were your parents? Uh, they were fun. They were a good time. They were real people. I think. Oh, they were the ones that were getting the money. What do you mean? The the life insurance policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they were. I don't know. My parents weren't the parents that like stopped their lives when they had kids, and not like they neglected, but they didn't stop being fun. They found out how to have kids and still be fun. So like. They were, and my my parents aren't like corporate. My dad just owns a little dry cleaner. Shout out Granny Ann's dry cleaning. That's my plug oh, for whatever. Bam. For whatever. If any of you need a suit cleaned in Ohio, there you go. Shout He's got out. you. Here in the um, mafia. But yeah, everyone either th- okay. I didn't. Everyone in either thinks I'm in the mafia or I'm Asian. They think when you're I say Asian. my parents are for, own a dry cleaner. The Asian mafia. The Yakuza. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I know when I moved here, Harry, like, Harry. I told people like, "Oh yeah, my parents own a dry cleaner," and people straight face, not being racist or anything, was like, "Oh, you don't look Asian." I'm like, That's the a stereotype. <laughs> the Asian. I'm like, what? I go to a dry cleaner called Al Phillips Dry Cleaner. Doesn't sound like an Asian name. No. It's not like white. So. Is that a stereotype? Maybe it's some stereotype. sort of stereotype. Yeah. That, like yeah. I don't know if I've ever heard. I've ever was, isn't it? I've heard it laundry from like common and from like not comics, not people trying to make a joke, just being like, "Oh, are you Asian?" I'm yeah. like, "No, I'm not Filipino. I'm nothing. I'm yeah. fucking Italian. Like, what does that have to do with it? Like, oh, I've never seen a dry cleaner that wasn't." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, this seems really racist. I don't know what's happening <laughs> that, right now." <laughs> but uh, and they said it to your face, straight up. I, I was confused. Like at work, they'd be like, "Oh, are you like Asian?" Well, to be fair, you don't look Asian. No, yeah. I'm the very not yeah. not Asian at all. There's nothing about me that looks. I look thoroughbred white. Like, uh, but no, my parents were cool. Will you got? Oh, go ahead. My, my oh no, I was just saying they were cool. They weren't weird like that. My parents just laughed at crazy shit too. So it wasn't. My sister and brother are still cool. They're they're not like well, I don't know. They're kind of more stuck up than I am. I'm, but like no, my parents' friends were fun. Ohio? 
yeah, 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 Dor- <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to move out of Ohio. <laughs> I got shipped out here. I don't know. I like Ohio. I still fuck with it. I love Ohio. You it's like Ohio? What city? place to drink. I grew up in Cleveland, and then I went to school in Cincinnati. Okay. I'm That's from Indianapolis. Cincinnati. Cincinnati's okay if you know where to go, but, I mean, it's it's just I like boozing and $2 drinks. I can't. I I can't live the same lifestyle I lived in Ohio that I can't hear just because of alcohol prices. Like, I can't get that fucked up here because I just go broke. Oh, oh, this is what I remember about Ohio. Uh-huh. Sorry, Cincinnati, you have, uh, you got to sell liquor in CVS yes. that's watered down. It's 50%. It's 50%. What? Me and my buddy went to a Wale concert. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's 50, per, like, uh, so it's, it's like a bottle's 80 proof. They sell it at 80 40. proof. It's 40 proof. Yeah. But they don't, they don't tell about. you hundred percent. I have no idea what you're talking about. In the, in the, I don't know if it was all CVS, but mm-hmm. they, they sell bottle and it says diluted vodka, like in the lick, mm-hmm. all of them were what? diluted. Every last one of them were diluted. When was this? This was like 2012. I went to a mm-hmm. Wale concert out there. We went to what? the liquor store. We can't, the reason That's how I know I, me and my buddy went back to the hotel. We're uh-huh. drinking. And we're going through. They charge the like, full you... price for that shit. No, it was half Cheaper? price too. It was a che- It wasn't a scam. Ooh. It was just like that was the regular. If you want liquor from this CVS, it's all fifty percent. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sounds like some Utah. That's not a thing. That's yeah, a, yeah, Utah I've does never that heard shit of that too. In my life. You gotta. Genuinely. You can't even get a drink in Utah Dude, without Utah having is such food. A garbage fucking state, and it sucks because Salt Lake City is gorgeous. It's yeah, a, it's a very pretty place. place. A pretty place, yeah. terrifically well designed city, but just like. I could not live there because of all the Mormons. You know, in Indiana, there's a refrigeration tax on beer. There's a refrigeration tax? They, they sell it warm. They don't sell it. If you go to a gas station, because I think it was to cut back on drinking and driving, beer is on a shelf. It's not in a fridge. I mean, that kind of makes sense. So then you get warm beer, so you got to cool it off because the, the reason was people just buy beers and crack them open and drink and drive. Right. Which, yes, all the time in Ohio, every yeah. day. All like, the time. Dude, you know like about Ohio? I don't know if this is just a Southern Ohio thing or Ohio in general, but yeah. I like the beverage docks, the drive through Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, what's it, a, it, what's a beverage else. dock? It's a drive through 7-Eleven. It's like uh, they'll take like an old... drive through 7-Eleven. Picture this, like an old um, uh, car wash, right, that went out of business. Strip out all the car wash shit and then put in fridges the whole way. You just drive in, you grab whatever the fuck, and then they charge you, and then you just go. You From your car door, you open the... You, sometimes you hop... As you're driving through, there's a dude there who's just like... You're just like, hey, can I get a case of Heineken uh, and some liquor and some chips? And they just give it to you in your car, and then you just drive off. Well, that's freaking dope. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of them around there. It's yeah, cool. I don't know why that's just... Th- I've only ever seen that in Ohio. Now that I think about it, yeah, I'd never see it here. Yeah, I didn't even realize that was a thing there. We got it's consi- got to be a Midwest thing, though. Vegas got casinos in grocery stores. No, no, so we're, we have the opposite. <laughs> beverage docks for sure. But. Yeah. yeah but all dude, day long. the best guy thing about this. Should we start a start beverage dock? Because we want to make a killing a out here. A beverage dock wouldn't be a bad investment. You know what, you know what it is? It, on, it would be so hard to keep cold if it was in yeah. open air. Your electric bill would probably be nuts. Mm-hmm. Solar panels. I'm trying to keep those. <laughs> there you go. Fix the problem. 115, man. You're going to cook those fridges. Yeah. You'd open the door once. Everything would get hot. You couldn't. Yeah. Parker, yeah. what's your favorite thing about living in uh, Nevada? Uh, smoking cigarettes inside. God, it's my least favorite. <laughs> that's the worst thing, thing in the world. It makes, I hate yeah. it. That's my thing that I don't like staying open mics that long for. A lot of it is that. Like, comics will start talking to me, and I'll just get away from the conversation because I hate smelling like smoke. Why and, do you feel empowered to smoke inside? I just feel like I'm a goddamn American. and uh, <laughs> I can't argue with that, though. I can't argue with that. It's a great point. You feel like so you I feel, feel like it should be up to the business. It should be up to the establishment true. owner if they want to allow smoking. True. Not. I think that should be the case everywhere. It should be what up, type of establishment? Any establishment. Ah, a hospital yes. can't have cig- some cigarette yeah. smoke in there. Well, the should if they have hospital, a smoking section a though? A hospital should one hundred percent have a smoking section. I feel like a hospital, I would give you that. Hospital probably wouldn't willingly choose to do that. It'd be kind of a bad look for them. But like they should do let it the market do. decide. Yeah, let the market decide. It. Yeah. If, oh, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. I've been thinking we should just let every state do it at once. Oh, full blow. Are you? Do you sound like Wait, the, the opposite of the federal government. government. Federal government is just the military. <laughs> the federal government is straight military. I'm saying like, cause like California wants to do its thing, Texas wants to do its thing. Let's let's just say fuck it, get rid of everything, right? What and do you mean by everything? Like every federal law, get rid of all of it. So if Colorado wants to go, all drugs are legal in Colorado. You can do that shit. If like fucking so, if like I was just like drinking and driving is legal here. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> drinking and driving, we don't care. It's not a crime. Get as fucked up as you want. And drive your car, and insurance companies are gonna have to sort that out. 
and like everyone and you you let every state redo all their laws and go like all right 2025 this shit's kicking in so move figure out what you want to do go to where you want to go texas is like everyone gets a gun just for living here <laughs> california's ever no guns we're full socialists do whatever we want to do too let them do it go all out so you're saying put the people with the weapons over here and the with the ones whatever no the weapons over and here. what'll happen is if your state rules and people dig that shit people are going to move there and if your state sucks people are going to move out so then you have to change your laws to get people to come back so like a shitty place like montana is like well montana is beautiful but like i don't know oklahoma <laughs> oklahoma like everyone's leaving oklahoma right they're like all right murder's legal here yeah, and I people be like, that, you know what? I'm I, I think that would be great because be killer. if Nevada specifically was independent, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we could we would still be in the, one of the biggest tourism destinations in the world. We'd still ball we, out. Yeah, and we could be like, all right, here in Nevada, you can do whatever you want. Prostitution. Well, shit, you can, you make can. prostitution no, full like, legal. Like, really? Yeah. Like, prostitution. What can't I, you do in Las Vegas? Uh, no, I mean like kill a man in cold blood. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you said what? I mean, like, uh, make you're this talking about you want the theft You want the purge? Yeah. If Maine wants to be the purge, Maine. Could Honestly, go. We, we do the purge. But, but what we, happens wait, what to this? What if that if we made a because Nevada's a lot of got a lot of empty space. What if we made like a big chunk of central Nevada the purge? Do it. Like a big chunk. Of, like, do it. And like, if people want to live here, they do it. Yeah. Like, so what about if they don't want to live here but they're they, stuck? They can move. No, that's the point. Every state. Because here's this thing, right? Everyone's gonna be swapping states left and right. Like any lefty in Texas. Where is money coming from to swap states? Well, at? this is the point, right? So every lefty in Texas is gonna be like, I'm going to fucking California. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I want to go and live in communist paradise. And all the Californians who are like, no, dude, I want to go full libertarian, build the wall. Fuck that. Right. You, you find, we do a website where you swap what houses. Does libertarian build the wall. They're, they don't believe in borders. No, oh, they're not. I can't remember. <laughs> I, I can't, I can never keep this shit straight. Well, all right. Texas is going to build a wall around their libertarian paradise. What's stopping yeah. the people with the guns from not, Taking the land of the people without the guns. Well, that's a great and that's a great argument of why we should have guns. But that's a different thing. But let them sort it out. And now here's the thing: Texas and, just got bigger. But if California wants to be like, hey, we're gonna do all these laws about like growing crops and shit, and some other states like, no, you can grow whatever the fuck. Let it happen. And if states are gonna die, people are gonna die. Oh yeah, Michigan's the, gone. You think so? It's too cold. Uh, but that's the thing. Cold ass, shitty states are gonna have to make a great pitch. Michigan is gonna be like, you can do heroin here. Come on down. I, I would. I would never mistake you for Asian, but you're yeah. thinking like China. No, no, it's the opposite. You Divide and conquer, dog. Hit China. Hit China. Do China shit. What, what do you think China will want us and to hey, do as America? Divide and, and, and <laughs> so and they can conquer us. No, I think you still have a federal government, but like the state should be a little bit more. I like, think Georgia yeah. should become all black people. Atlanta, new <laughs> capital. <laughs> do it. If Georgia votes, kick out all the white Se people. When, when you say it. Georgia, Se do you Se mean Georgia or Atlanta? Atlanta would take over Georgia. So just yeah. all so Atlanta, black win, people own like a separate but equal situation. They just make their own thing. Seg were, segregation. I yeah, want yeah, if yeah, if yeah, they yeah. want it, if they want to say there's no white people allowed in Georgia, this is our shit. Because Atlanta would be the capital. Uh huh. If black people it would, just get their own go. state. Fuck it. Who cares? And how would how would and how Mississippi would it, could go? All right, whites only, and then we see which one does better. <laughs> Let them sort it out. And then maybe they go to war every once in a while over Florida. This this Let might be why we have a constitution. No, and then we just, do, and then the, the military is just a draft. We do a draft thing and we just, what's that's it, the only what's thing it based runs. off of? Uh, just percentages, just random numbers, do whatever the hell you want to do. But every state's got to kick up a percentage of population of the draft every year. <laughs> so you're always drafting. We keep the military going. We keep a bit, and we spend so much on the military. So much because we don't have a con. We don't well, have. Well, we we already do that. There's no more Congress. There's no more president. None of that shit. We just got some sort of pope. Put, we put all that money into the military. Yes, put it all in the military. Who who, uh, who governs the? Who's the? Who's like being elected? Uh, uh, Illinois. It, it's, we'll just somebody from Texas. Let's just call it. What it is. <laughs> just let a Texas guy do it. It's not a big deal. Just try, We're all gonna trust Texas that they can kill people outside the country the best, and we'll do that. They'll wage whatever wars they want to do, just like we do now. No differences, but let it, just let it ride. And let's say, like, fuck it. If a, if a state just wants to go, like, full, no laws, nothing. This is just no man's land. Kansas is just, you can grab a plot of land and take it. Kansas is Kansas. Let's do it. Let them do it. Why not? I'm not opposed to this. You're not seem, opposed to it. Yeah. I can, I, he's definitely got an argument. Because I, 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 honestly, I feel like more, I, I like Nevada more than I like America. Yeah. Like I'm more of a Nevadan than I am an American. And yeah. I, I think it'd be awesome if Nevada could just fucking do whatever yeah. it wants. Like, 
I feel like the whole reason people come to the city is because you can do crazy shit. Well, let's mm-hmm. let them do crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. you let them. That, that, think about it. The casinos have a lot of money. Uh-huh. Let's have crazy people come out here with, yeah. with the casinos with a lot of oh, money. Dude, and, yeah. and Utah a, could go full Mormon is the law. Yeah, they could do. They let them do Amish. the law. Pennsylvania is Amish now. So you're yeah. saying you're saying no laws, but you're making laws. Let, so each no, state each can, can do, do whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, but you canvas. Uh huh. But it, Utah. Yeah. I don't think Utah was some handmaid's tale. What do you think? be the best state to live in probably nevada nevada georgia would put out what the do, best what music, do i though. what do i think the best state to live in would be yeah if they went to their conclusion like florida just party every day i feel like Oregon the, florida be, does a three-day work week like florida just goes nuts what i think the best i think oregon state, would be bad because they'd be constantly in civil war between the people living in portland and people yeah let, west it, of oregon. let portland and west oregon sort it out yeah. well, no no because no, when when they make the law portland's gonna win yeah so all the west oregon people have their time to move to idaho okay you know what i mean okay. Why do we have to live with people we hate? Why do we have to live with people we hate? Yeah, move them to if Atlanta. If you're a crazy racist bastard, go live in the crazy racist <laughs> bastard state. Go stay there. Do your thing. That's cool. Whichever color. I don't know if the Chinese people are going to get their own state, but let them do it. They can <laughs> they, have they, some from Washington. Some, They're going to take Washington. They own like that whole Seattle's like owned by China now. Seattle? Yeah, the they, whole, they keep buying. Montreal, same shit. Well, they don't keep buying it. America keeps, America keeps selling it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys hear that uh, the Bureau of Land Management just sold all the land surrounding the Las Vegas Paiute Tribe Reservation, and then this, they sold it to the city. And the city's going to turn it into suburbs. So the Paiute Reservation is going to be entirely all right. surrounded I'm going to say suburbs. this. Give the Native Americans one. Oh, yeah. There should... No more reservation. Just state? give them a state. Yeah. A state. It's Which fair. one? Montana? Uh, Montana's a beautiful place. I think they'd be happy there. That's a good. That's a beautiful cut, and let them kick out all those celebrities who are buying up all the water and shit out there. Get Matthew McConaughey and like all those dudes that got backup houses there for when the apocalypse. Give that to Native Americans. Let them. Get, give them. That's theirs. Montana, get the fuck out of there. That eighty people that are get out. Yeah. Have the you co- seen the movie one, the one hundred, or the the series, the one hundred on Netflix? No. Oh. Is it like that? It's a. Is it as good as this fantasy? It is. They drop people. It's a dystopian future. Are we, are we just yeah. doing a George Carlin bit where he's like, <laughs> take the, just see the, where it goes? No, no. The one where he talks about each, like, get rid of prisons and make, like, Colorado the drug addict state. Like, why oh, is it state? Maybe. Well, okay. Yeah, we're going to need a prison state, actually. Yeah. Well, no, no, because that'd be part of it. Because some states are going to be like, oh, no prisons. And then we'll see what happens there. <laughs> I think I know. But, you know, hey, maybe it works out. I'm, I'm still following the theory. I'm liking it. I think I, I'm liking cool. where you're going. I like yeah. it. Where as long you're... as we, we're going to have to beef up the military to a crazy level on the outside. One, to police, because there's going to be infighting for sure. You know, like. How long do you think, with, with this going down this road, how long do you think America has left when this happens? How much we got left right now? Probably like 40 years. Oh, this will give us about, this will buy us some more time. I think buy we, us more this time? This is like our, you know when something's going to split, the couple's about to split up, so they say, fuck it, let's do an open relationship for like two more years. This is that open relationship. This is the open well, relationship. Well, it it should have been done. And you made it something kind of like the European Union. Where, like, exactly. That's what we are. Yeah. Well, that's what we are. Yeah. Like, Europeans are always like, oh, you haven't been to all these different countries. You haven't really traveled. It's like, bitch, you haven't been to Oklahoma. Like, that's yeah. another <laughs> country. That shit's crazy. Yeah. It, it's just. No, especially being from, like, Vegas, which is so culturally different than the mm-hmm. rest of this country. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm in a different country when I go yeah. to Utah. If you go to, like, from me flying to from Ohio to Vegas is the equivalent of someone in England traveling to France. It's the same shit. Yeah. It's just they they speak different languages and they have different histories and stuff. Yeah. But like we don't have a lot of countries that are close to America so to fly to Europe and see 80 countries is so much more money. So right. they talk shit on us. So I say let's make them all different. Yeah. Fuck make it. all the st- for tourists. For everybody. Oh, and tourism's going to get crazy cuz you're going to need visas and shit. It's going to get goofy. No, no, I think we should stay one country. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We are like, still one country. Yeah, yeah, but like, you shouldn't have to have a visa to travel between states. Yeah. Did we die? Oh, okay, cool. All right, then I think... All right. Do you think any states would speak a different language? Uh, I mean, Hawaii... What? Does Hawaii... A lot of them still... Dude, speak. let Hawaii go. Yeah. Just let them go. Yeah. They don't need to stay. Yeah. Let them be free. That's another place, too. We, we yeah. don't need that. Um, Puerto Rico, let them well, go. Well, there's a lot of states where... I don't think Spanish is the number one. Oh, Florida's speaking there. Spanish for sure, right? A lot of old white people live in Florida. Well, we're gonna have to get the fuck out because well, we're speaking Spanish now, Jack. Who, Miami's no, taking I, over. I, I think that no, I think the old white people in Florida outnumber the Cubans. Oh, that's no. Nah, we got to give them. And that. a lot of Cubans vote Republican. Yeah, but here's the thing: the white people, the old white people. I think Florida should speak Spanish, and probably New Mexico should speak Spanish. Maybe Arizona. 
one of those. Yeah. Arizona or New Mexico is going to speak Spanish now. <laughs> They're going to do that. And let them. Let them. Let, let them do it. Let them. Where, where would you live? I'd live in Nevada. No, oh. where, I wouldn't know Will. Will let's go down Will's. Let's go down Will's there. Where, where would you live? Uh, well, it depends on what their rules would be. Yeah, white people. You gotta be in a white people only state, right? No, I'm right? not gonna be white people only state. Absolutely. Where not. You, you the, gonna be in Atlanta? Be, the food would be mediocre at best. Yeah, you, Unless go, there's Italians there, that food's gonna suck. Well, if it's a white people only state, they're gonna get racist against other white people, and you're Italian. You're Italian. Yeah, oh. no, we're you're the first, you're, Yeah, you're the first one. Uh, Dude, New York might just become Italy. That'd yeah. be dope. <laughs> the Italians just take over New York again. The mob comes back with full force, just starts cracking kneecaps. Do y'all take New York, New York as well in Las Vegas? Uh, that. I think honestly, Vegas might be returning to being Italian mob owned. Uh the city was so much more fun back then. I I, th- I think it sounds better. Yeah. To just free, you know what the best thing the mob ever did? What's free the best thing the mobs ever did? Damn right. Free Damn market. right. They took that shit from everywhere. Playing Hollywood like guys, used to be free uh, every honestly, time. If if the the price we have to pay for free valet parking is a couple guys get whacked every once in a while. <laughs> Straighten it so out. So be it. And there was no <laughs> fentanyl when the mob was doing it. Yeah. Let's it'll even out. It'll yeah. even it back out. I yeah. think honestly I'd be here and not I've thought about this either which way. Like if I was to say fuck it and move, like oh I got nothing on me, fuck it, let's move. Where would I move to that's more this? You know what I mean? You, like for your lifestyle. That's more crazy, that's more cause that's what I like. Miami. That's about it, and I don't speak Spanish, so I wouldn't Miami's be more... about, I feel like Miami's about on par with Vegas as far as, like, the power. Oh, I've heard, yeah, 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 but, yeah. like, I would have to restart from square one. I wouldn't know anybody. Right. Like, now I have, I know a lot of people. I can do cool shit, um, but it took years to, like, get that as an outsider, like, move in. I don't think there's any crazy shit that you can do in Miami that you can't do in Vegas. It's basically, like, what flavor of girl do you want? Yeah. If you want right. Latina girls, go to Miami. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. My one friend, he loves latin women like he this is a dude who like at like 22 was like i'm gonna learn spanish <laughs> solely for the purpose of getting pussy seriously so he goes to bars he finds the most hold that thought ecuadorian thought. hold thought okay okay oh yeah where's the bathroom at i the rice for 17 hours <laughs> How'd it feel? Oh, it's fun shit. Oh, yeah. How long have you been doing? Uh, only an hour and 30. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do 11 hours. I'm good. I'm just chilling. Okay. I'm just killing time until, uh, I just have a show at 8. What time I is nothing it? Nothing to do. It's 4. 4? Yeah. We got about a half an hour left. I got a, I got a show after this. Absolutely. But yeah, uh, we'll touch back. Do you you got anything that we want to end with, or you want to talk about? Oh, whatever questions. questions. So I feel like we've haven't no, you good. You talk. Yeah. If I had a, I, I typically have an entire list, and if it goes different, I throw the list out. We good. Fair enough. Okay. Have you had people that like you started and they can't do it? What like? Nah. Everybody that I get on the couch. Yeah. Everybody that I get on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Who else you had? Uh. That you would know, Park, um, uh, Bobby Sticks. Bobby's funny, yeah. Um, that's the only one you would know. Okay. Yeah, I have mo- uh, other people. But who, Bobby Sticks in? Yeah, that's it. That's the only one from the comedy scene. Yeah. And you too. Mm-hmm. What am I looking for? Oh. Uh, what's the question I'm going to ask? Um, I got water. No, you good. This is weird. Oh. oh, did you have another Red Bull? Is that what you said? Yeah. Or no, you know what? I get it. Um, I'm going to ask what you guys want the world to know or what, what do you want the world to know? Do you let's state what I live in? Once, how do you think Ohio would fare? They got a lot of water, they got a lot of resources. Yeah, um, I think they yeah, would get the thing that sucks about Nevada in that situation. We have to import everything basically, yeah. nothing grows here, there's no water. Well, you still you can still buy stuff from other states. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. supply chain might get fucked. Yeah, um, Ohio will probably make like football like mandatory every day, like they'd be <laughs> like they'd, they'd make like three separate NFLs. To just keep going. 
man, college football would get aggressive, though. <laughs> Fuck. Because it's like Mississippi plays Georgia. <laughs> it's just a white versus black bowl would just be nuts. Uh, you're, like, not, you, you, you're going down a whole track. You said it'd, they, it'd be nuts? It'd be, they'd be doing... It'd have to be a neutral territory. Like West Virginia or the, something. They'd have to play it there and just... So there's no home and away games? For that game. To, <laughs> that game in... Yeah, yeah. no road games. Because it's all just racism on both sides. Of have you ever eight. seen BYU play Jackson State? Exactly that. Exactly. <laughs> It would just be, the lineups would be bananas. Oh. That'd be crazy. What was I talking about? Oh, my buddy learned Spanish for pussy. Oh yeah. Did it work? Get. Yeah. Let me know whenever you're. You're good. I'm at. Um. Are we wrapping up? No, we got half an hour left, right. but I got I got a few questions. Um, a few questions and topics. Now y'all did well on. I mean, this was better than I even thought. So I appreciate y'all. Um. We should go on a tour as podcast guests. So people Dude, you want to do it? Yeah. Anytime you get a call, yeah. and I'll, I'll be there. We'll I'll be whatever there. we tour get. Tour on podcast guests. We're like, hey, I'll only do it if we, we only do doubles. Yeah. yeah. Back to, back this is to you. like half the shit we talk about it, like in the bars. And yeah. Uh huh. Part of favorite thing to do is talk shit with comics. Cause there's things that comics will say that would just like get you like fired. Insane. Yeah. Crazy shit. So yeah. Parker, why won't you? Why? What, what's what's the thing about social media? Why do you not? It's like not it? that I don't like. It's not that I like flat out won't do it. I know I should, but like it's just that like I love doing stand up comedy. Like it's like satisfies an urge for me. Mm -hmm. I that I do not get that same feeling when I do internet content. I'm doing it, internet content's a chore to me. The the comics that do a fuck ton of internet content before they can actually do time on stage. Yeah, for insane. me, it's more important to be able to be funny in person before exactly. I start building that. Like that would be nuts if I was like had ten million followers on TikTok, but I can't do a half hour. Right. Like I'm only, I'm is, only is half hour. What what's the arbitrary? No, what's a half an hour mean? I was just I, saying that like, means a half an hour means you can feature on the road. You can make yeah. you can make a decent li not living, but you can do pretty decently well financially with comedy if you can do a good half hour. You make yeah. more money in social media than you yeah. would in stand up. But it's up. like if I got if I just start putting out clips nonstop, like every set I had. And then comedy clubs like, ooh, let's bring them in. It's like, dude, I can't do an hour. What am I gonna do? Also, everyone who saw your clips already knows like exactly. Yeah. So like, how the, many people you? Th no. There's so many comics. I that, think that's working backward. That's hustling backward. There's so many comics in their first two years that do nothing but spam shit online, and it's just like, why are you doing that? Like, there's a good. threshold of there's a threshold of good, mm -hmm. and then from good. Good is to be able to put on a performance where people don't want to throw something at you. Yes. Good. Yes. Then there's great. There's a level in between good and great where you're not getting paid. Exactly. So the only way to get actually out there and get paid to work up, I didn't know I could do an hour until I did my first hour. Yeah. You never know. The, before I did... But I mean dudes who can't do 10 minutes that are putting out a new clip every week. Are they Are they becoming... That's the game, though. You're saying you don't want to play in the world that you live in. That's the game. Yeah, I don't want to play. I want to be a comic yeah. in 1998. I want to uh, get a cool. development deal from NBC. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hey, you, I you wanna, want to... I want to be a recurring guest on Married with you Children. You want to do a five-minute yeah, set on Conan. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And since none of that is here, now you just yeah, want to I'm, watch. I'm actually working on building a time machine. Uh, <laughs> I have memorized uh, all the Jerry Seinfeld you have, material, yeah. and I'm going to go back in time and do you it. That. A few Powerball does. numbers, a few sports game yeah. betting lines. You who's your plays. Who's your favorite comedian of all time? Probably Norm. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Norm McDonald. Did yeah. you watch his uh, last special? Uh, I tried to, and then I kind of like got sad because I saw one of my icons doing their last ever performance on Zoom, and it kind of made me upset. He wanted y'all to see it. I know, but it's like, oh man, Zoom Norm McDonald. This is the last thing. Norm it's McDonald. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. This is oh man, this is the last thing Norm McDonald ever dark. did. Zoom comedy. That's so sad. It'd be like if Patrice's last special was like him praising women. <laughs> <laughs> he went out wrong. I'd turn it off. I'd be like, this isn't you. Why are you doing this, man? No. Yeah. yeah I just watched Patrice. It just, it just made me sad night. that like Norm like he never got to do that because of COVID. He never got to do that special in public. So yeah. it's just fucking you know. But also, it's such a Norm Macdonald thing to have cancer for 10 years and not tell anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a baller that's, move. A, that's an incredibly Norm Macdonald thing. Yeah. Who's your favorite comic? Patrice. Patrice. Yeah, I think Patrice. Living is probably Louis C.K. Living for me is Mulaney. Yeah? Yeah, I love Mulaney. Yeah, he fucked Olivia Munn. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I look at. As far as my, my idol, who I want to be, Pete Davidson. My real ultimate goal. Are you goal fucking with me? <laughs> I want to. I want to <laughs> smash Kim K. I want to fuck that's not a bad storyline, buddy. I want to fuck women out of my league. Uh, that's, that's where I Dude, that's where I'll I'm tell you what. For. It's doable. 
Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to be Pete Davidson to do that. You just need a good story and to be able to cry and command. I like uh, I like girls who are like in also in the performing arts, like not other comics, but I like I've always liked actresses and like musicians and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I get I that. Like, yeah, I'd be into that kind of. You know. Yeah, I've done that. It's cool. I like yeah. it. It's it's cool and relatable. I'm yeah. bo- I'm it's fucked up because I get bored by girls bad. Mm-hmm. Like I need something that's like interesting. It's Dude, the amount of yeah. people who cannot hold a conversation is so frustrating. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, I don't know what two boring people do on a date. Yeah. I want I want to watch dates of people that don't, both like if the dude's not funny and the girl's not gonna be. But that's just beside like that's just <laughs> the girl's gonna, not gonna be. She's not gonna be funny. And statistically speaking, and I want to do. Do you that, want a funny girl? or Do you want a girl that laughs at your jokes? I don't. Uh, I, I like I like girls who could like do bits. Who can like, like you want to, it like, like, a like girl no, who's not a comic. I've no, 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 I definitely girl. wouldn't date a comic, but I'm like yeah. girls who can like, like do like, who can like, yes, and to me, like mm. that's, that's the track. You yes, want an so improv like, chick. Yeah. You want a girl who's smart enough to go back and forth. With you. Yes, yes, exactly. Cause I like want a girl that I can get into like a, like a, not like a serious argument, like, like a little like back and forth. Yeah. Like, I like that. You want there's like girls, too? there's girls standups that make me I like Jocelyn's fucking funny. Uh, yeah, they're like, definitely funny female comedians, but I wouldn't date any of them. Yeah. But like, what I'm saying is like women that I date are not funny. I'm just clarifying that. Yeah, yeah. You don't date funny women. No, I'm just saying. Do I never the women met one that will? Like, if you yeah. dated a woman that didn't find you funny, I wouldn't be able to date a woman that wouldn't find me funny. You I ever? You wouldn't? Would, you couldn't no. take it? No. Somebody on 4chan. This is really weird. It was funny, but some dude on 4chan was just asking. He was just like, "Is it true girls find guys that are funny attractive?" And the first answer is some guy just goes like, "I don't know, but I know they find attractive guys funny." <laughs> that's kind of funny. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. If a funny girl, is the number one. It's it's top five on every woman's list. If you're is a dude bullshit. being funny, uh, huh? Bullshit. You what so? are you Let talking about? Say that. <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's not like he, he, you ever see a guy with a girl. You be like, hey, get her. He's funny in the motherfucking dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's fun. What what else will be on the list? They what, what do women what? What do you funny, think? Funny. Uh, six foot four. Looks like Michael Phelps. <laughs> the uh, fuck did I do? <laughs> you you said they want. I think they want Will. <laughs> they want. Uh, a social situation around the dude. So they want a dude who lives a life they want to be a part of, whatever that is. 99.9% of the time it boils down to that. So like if he's funny, it means he's good at parties. It means he's good in social situations. It means that people like him. That's the Is thing that true? A hundred percent. I know a funny, a lot of motherfuckers. I know no, no, a lot no, of funny motherfuckers that are not good in social. Exactly. That's not funny to a girl. They want a dude who's yeah, funny being, in social being situations. Being funny in conversation is a lot different than being funny on stage. Yeah. So like, uh, a dude who's got money but it's weird and doesn't know how to use that money right isn't attra- as attractive yeah, like a as a dude. Guy. A dude who knows how to ball and like have friends and use that money to have social interactions, get that free meal, get you hook up with the tickets and stuff. That guy's more attractive than a dude who might have more money but it's just a hermit. They're not just attractive to like the quantity of it or how funny you are. It's like, do you have a life that's interesting around that? That's Does that make point. sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, so like, there's lots of dudes that can dunk. But if they're not in the NBA, it don't matter. They're not attracted to an athlete. They're attracted to an athlete's lifestyle. So, damn, you're just saying women are not about. They don't give a damn about your heart. They're they're no, just. They're, he said, "Fuck yeah, the heart." Smarter. He said, "No, you don't understand. It's if yeah, are you funny and what you can do with women it." Women can't go down in life. <laughs> they can't. Yeah, kind of, but it's like the. I don't see it as a bad thing. It's weird because it's like no, it makes I sense. only. It makes sense. There's only two things I look for in a woman. Literally, only two things: is is she hot and is she loyal. That's all I need. Hot and loyal. That's it. Everything else is gravy. So that's the check. If she's still hot and they're still sexual, no, address the ladies. I've, that's all I've I told. I've told this to my girlfriend's face before. This is where I get into the thousand bucks a month shit. It's like, she, <laughs> so you about he tried to hit us with the bullshit. He be hitting his girlfriend's <laughs> with. But trying to gaslight. Us. <laughs> you don't understand. It's like, dude, I don't need you to be able to read or write. Like yeah. I don't need you. <laughs> so to you have want a like job. A, you want like an Amish? Just barefoot and pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just need her to be attractive to me, so we have sexual chemistry. And we want to fuck each other. You want her to be attractive I'm stay to sexy you. for her. I need her to be hot for me. If you she, gonna stay sexy for her? I will stay attractive to her. I will find a way to. It's be not a man's to responsibility yes, to be attractive yes, to a is. woman. That is the only responsibility you have. Your whole life is that. This, what? This podcast to being be successful a- is attractive to a woman. That's what I'm saying. Everything you building a good life for yourself is attractive. It's all to get pussy. 
You, you think this is what I'm doing is to get pussy? No, no, no. <laughs> exactly. And that's even sexier. Sense. That's attractive. The moment you start doing it for pussy, you're unattractive. You're failing your mission. So if a guitar player in a yeah. rock band just it, decides to start motherfucking zapping it and he's like, I'm going to get some pussy tonight. Watch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying if that guitar player goes to some girl and she's like, hey, let's fuck. And he's like, nah, I got to go practice. That's attractive as fuck to her. Yeah. But what, what's if he the, blew off a gig to like hang out with her, she'd be like, "Why are you hanging out with me right now?" I, I get what, I get the concept that you're saying, but yes. what, what, this started by saying they don't want you to hang out with them. They, uh, they love it. Yeah. This they started love by when saying you're too busy funny. for them yeah, they, because that yeah. means your life around is more important. But is that her. is she that funny though? Is that funny to a woman? What do you mean? That a dude is like, nah, uh, yeah, nah, I'm about to go play this guitar. I'll holler at you later. That's she'll not be funny. mad and she'll be thinking about you the whole night. Yeah, but yeah. but funny is the the, the whole topic is was funny is like a part of that having a life part. If you're, you're, weird, you're, you're trying to blend she, your life. You're you're the family guy. It's, it's starting to make sense. You're trying you to have you're the you want a family. Yeah, absolutely. You want a family in the polar opposite of stand up by being away from your. You want a family here, but you you want to be very, on tour. This is the thing I wrestle with constantly. Is like I want to do stand up. It's the only thing I give a shit about. It's destroyed relationships before. Like I had a great relationship before I started doing stand up comedy. I started doing stand comedy. Why not prostitutes? Uh, yeah, I don't like paying for it. I got too much ego for it. I the, I don't I've fuck to come. I've never been with a, never been to a strip club. Never, never had a prostitute. You go to a strip club. That's a good time. But like, I don't fuck strip to come. Club. I only fuck for like the social points in my head. I'm See, keeping score with myself. Shit. Yeah, I'm keeping score with myself. I I'm not. I fuck to come. I I've came with <laughs> half the girls I've ever fucked. <laughs> I, I fuck to come. Uh, half the time. Half I, th the I think we most do. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> no. I, I smoked a little bit of weed, but I didn't inhale it. Uh, Part of me, the hell. taking a girl home is just like, I just hope my dick stays hard that I can fuck her and then it falls. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'm just going for numbers. You, I don't give a shit. This is what I wanted to bring most up Most girls are earlier. terrible in bed. I don't look forward you, to it. You I'm might want to. They're bed. awful in you, bed. You might want to up that uh your your insurance policy because you go uh -huh. need some more money for these bitches. No, no, no. Only girlfriends <laughs> are getting money. Not yeah, you're going to need some more for them because if you talk, about the, you talk about this, you're going to have to. 30, 30, 36,000 ain't enough, big dog. The mental damage. They, 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 oh, they yeah. gonna need a lot it's more than 36,000. I like being in a relationship. every podcast mention. That'd be cool. Yeah. No, I'd like, uh, I, I, I've i been in relationships pretty much most of my time since I've been sexually active. I've been in relationships. Like, I've, I've been, really only ever had one actual, like, longer relationship. How long? Was, what's like longer? nine months. Nine months. See, isn't that, like, the opposite of what you would expect? You figure he would be, like, relationship dude, and I would be, like, the fucking dude just chasing tail constantly for nine straight years, and I have no soul. Wrong. Sociopath. I'm a certified lover boy. You're the certified. You're I, the one that wants a family, but when one, a woman gets close, you say, "Fuck you, motherfucker." No, I don't no, know no. why I you. Like I don't being, know why you love me. I like being intimate. I like having a girlfriend. I like having somebody like around, but I don't. That I. It's weird. I. I, get, I I'm fucked up. I, I have so really, many. Kind of like you. I get bored really easily. Like I've had the opportunity with women. Yeah, I've had many opportunities since that relationship to be in another one, and I just get bored so easy. But your lifestyle, our lifestyles don't even fit the yeah. idea of a, of a, of a, a, like, a yeah, successful like, relationship. Like you guys said, it's cool that like, oh, I'm gonna blow, like she would think it's cool if I'm gonna blow her off to go to go mm -hmm. practice guitar or whatever. That's maybe cool the first couple times when you're like, when you're actually like dating like in, together in a relationship. How do you know you've been in one relationship? We'll let him I get his point across. Don't, 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 don't let him get his like, nine months. Like, hey, I'm going to an open mic for the fifth night in a row. No, uh, my last girlfriend was really supportive, actually. No, she was like, if I stayed home, she would be like, why the fuck are you here? She'd be like, go out and do that. That's important. Because that's what she found sexy was me working at shit. She would be like, why are you sitting on the couch? She said, like, I don't want you near me. Just, I'll find you sexy when you're gone. Yes, <laughs> genuinely, yes, yes. If I was just sitting at home playing video games or some shit, she'd be like... What the f like we're not fucking like that's not happening but if i come home from like doing a show or working on shit even if it's not good like she's gonna be into that but you're good you have to be with a girl that finds you funny i don't think i'm a bit of a girl that doesn't find me funny i'm trying no, but is it how i don't know how I'm else i would meet a woman. i don't yeah. know how why else a woman would like me if she didn't think i was funny. i don't know yeah I, well, you don't have any other traits no. <laughs> 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 I, dude, I honestly, okay, if we're taking funny out of yeah. the equation, I take don't know funny if I out. Have another, no, no, neither. think, think hard. Yeah, I don't know if I have what? Another. Yeah, you you don't have good character or you you I can't athletic. Really. You do uh, you do jujitsu. Yeah, but you could talk yourself out of pussy really quickly. Like you could have the whole framework. I'm a good looking dude. Like, the, but the girl I'm with is good looking, right? Like, I do other shit, but like, if I'm weird, they're not gonna. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, if we it's minus, the same shit. if we minus funny from the equation, I don't know how I would ever have. Me sex. neither. Yeah. Cause no gives no girl gives a shit if I'm like at jujitsu. So does that or does that not say that funny is in because all women's killed. top five? Yeah, I agree. That's exactly. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen the top five for sure. It's, it's, it's literally thing. in every literally yeah. yeah so but because they want to be entertained, they don't have lives themselves most of the time. <laughs> they don't. What do girls do? Someone Watch crime what junkies. Do. What do they do? That's okay. a good question. Actually. Seriously. I mean, I I like a girl. To, a girl I like a, a I like a podcast. reader. You ever met a girl with a hobby? Yeah, read. She, my girl reads. My girl, she she reading she, is not, she, a hobby. not a hobby. Reading is not a hobby. I'm sorry. What? Oh, would you get better at reading? No, it's Would you a, get, it, get more words a minute. Well, That's not a hobby. This is coming from a, we literally just had a discussion about chess and Sudoku. Get your ass uh, out of here. Yeah, hey, you you're telling me read chess? No, chess is a competitive game. Get yeah, so it's reading. You know how many words you can read a minute, motherfucker? I don't, hey. but that's the competition. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just defending I've reading. I've never met a girl who's like woodworking or something. What do I do? Hiking? You walk. That's not a thing. Just what? stop And she went on a hike today. Do you know how boring women are? I mean, I don't, want, I don't want them to be excited. I don't That's want my girl I to be. Want them to be. I want yeah, my like girl to be feminine girl. and excited. What's exciting to you? For uh, you? I like. Exciting? I like when. Uh, what do you like about them? I, I like. I like when women can like hold a conversation. They I knew this was gonna get to this point. Yeah. You I, knew a woman can. I, hold, I you like a woman. Bashing women and y'all <laughs> yeah. nice. No, I, uh, <laughs> I like. Uh, I like when women have a like a like a like a fun personality. Like they like to. They're, like they're, they're easy to be around. Yeah, they're easy to be That's around. They're nice. Just not a pain in the ass. Yeah. All you like is a girl who's not a pain in the ass. Yeah. But like who's like fun to talk to. Yeah, not a pain in the ass. And like not I can, pulling teeth. Like I can take her out yeah. and not worry about her saying yeah. something stupid. Do you need her to have a nice car? No. Do you need her to have a nice job? What are we talking about? Yeah. We're saying the same shit. He's yeah. just he's just tiptoeing around it. Yeah. And I'm like, they don't do anything and I don't need them to. And yeah. she's just like, I just want her to be nice just to sit, me. Sit That'd in the cool. corner. <laughs> Will says sit in the corner only, look pretty. Imagine if a girl's only requirement for you is just like just well, be well, nice to me. She also has to be hot. What are the two things I said? Just You said be hot and loyal. And loyal. Just I, I don't want to have to worry. I don't know if I say loyal. I just don't want to definitely up there. I don't want to have to worry about you fucking anybody else. That's the that's what it boils down to. That's the that's just the heartbreaker. And don't fuck anybody else. I'm cool, but that's up to me. I I determine if she's gonna do that as best I can. You can't worry about it. You know, you just gotta stay hot enough that she wants to be with you and isn't gonna. So fuck you, that's else. what you think. You think your attractiveness is what keeps the women. Yeah, it's the only thing that does. Get it's attraction. Get the fuck out of here. You it's mine, this. man. You gotta. It, yeah, your mind has to be attracted. To everything, not physically. I mean, all of it. You gotta be able to say shit that's sexy. <laughs> he said, you gotta make he said you gotta have some sexy. quotes. He gotta have some. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta be able to quote some. Go quote, quote yes. some shit. You gotta be able to stay attractive mentally. What's your What's your pick of love? All right, let's go, Guru. What's your when you walk in? A, you walk in, I'm gonna set the scene. I like to find. I'm gonna set, mean, I'm like set, to set find the scene. Mean girl. I'm gonna set the scene. Okay. I'm gonna set the scene. Okay. You walk into a club. You walk into a bar. Sure. You're You're Will. You got your hat backwards. You walk sure. in there. It yeah. just happened to be eggshell t shirt. He got his He got his Vans on. You feeling good? You just boop. Boop. You okay. just hit your car alarm. Boop boop. It declined. No, your car oh. alarm. Boop oh, my boop car to stop alarm. your oh, car. You got your nice declined. car. I was like, oh, I'm gonna <laughs> he not said you're drinking. <laughs> I need to go work. Okay, so I'm going to a bar. You, I gotta you, pick up a girl. You walk into a club. You walk yeah. into a club. The, the yes. door is open. Fucking hat flies back. You you, you <laughs> walk in there. Everybody the sees you. Uh -huh. You go into the the bar. What do you order for a drink? Uh, it depends on the bar. Depends pick on pick a drink. Uh, if I'm drinking beer, usually, but if I'm drinking at like a nicer place, I'll get whiskey. What? Whiskey, you got a good maker's mark. You walk around, sure. You see a girl in the corner. She's just your type. What's your myself? type? What's your type? It depends on the room. I don't know. I don't have a specific. What the fuck? No, follow I'm not like a, I'm not like a fucking dude just out looking for pussy. I go out and have fun, and then you find follow you run follow this scenario. Okay. You go out. What yes. you see a girl sitting I in the corner. A bar, I look for the meanest looking girl in the bar. The top meanest looking girl. I look She's for sitting the in the corner. Angriest scowl on her face. Rude looking. She does not want to be there, girl. You walk right up to her. What do you say? I would usually talk to her friend and make fun of her. You pick the meanest girl in the bar yeah, and make fun. Yeah, with her friends. I find the group of girls with the one girl who's just like, I don't want to fucking be here, who's pissed off. And you walk up and just go, like, you have the most beautiful scowl. And then her friends are going to laugh in her face every time. They'll laugh right away. And they'll be like, ah. And I was like, see, she's not even smiling now. So like, she, does she do this at every bar? And then they're just like, yes, she does. Like, she's so. And the next thing she'll crack a smile and you can talk to her.
You can talk right to her. That's what I, if if it depends. So you just read the room. I don't use pickup lines and shit at, like uh, that. The other day at Wise Guys, that's just like one long. time I did that and that worked in Charlotte, North Carolina. Shout out to that. What there happened were, the other day at Wise Guys? These two girls. I was outside uh, with Casper smoking weed, and these two mm-hmm. girls walked up. One of them looked nice, right? Mm-hmm. The other one looked mean, right? Mm-hmm. And Casper wanted to have sex with the nice one. He was like, "Hey, like, gave me like the signal, the wingman." Wingman wing to band. take the mean one. Right, right. So I'm chatting with this girl, right, and she just like starts arguing with me about all everything. Great. And I, and I got into like, no, I got into like, I, I didn't want to. I like was over not having sex. There at yeah, that point. I, yeah. Like, I don't want to have sex there. I'm gonna get into autism debate mode. Good. Yeah, I got into like straight up like. I like mode. that too, because yeah. if you you get the insults back and forth, and sometimes that can go down an alley of playfulness, or it can go down an alley of like, oh, we're in a hole, I can't get yeah, out. Yeah, no, no, we, that's where just we're lean around. into it. Yeah. Fuck it, just yeah, burn yeah, yeah, the bridge. You're you're attracted yeah, yeah. to Who women's cares? attitudes. Uh, no, uh, no, I just think it's fun. Like that's just like a couple times. Usually, if I meet a girl out. It's just by chance. It's just hanging out. I, I don't. If you go out looking for pussy, they can smell it on you. Because they, they want a dude who like other people want to fuck. So if other people want to fuck you, then you're not desperate looking for pussy. So then they're attracted to you. One of my very close friends is a woman, and I have sex with her friends. That's fucking baller shit. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Yeah. She hooks you yeah. up. Yeah. Well, I've so that she's like, don't have sex with her, and I'm like, all right. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, cool then you take her to the movies and you yeah, say, yeah. "Baby, I'm gonna get this yeah. pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna get this pussy." <laughs> she hears you just like, "Have you ever seen the Fault in Our Stars?" And she's like, "Oh fuck, you're doing it again." Oh no, that's your move. You don't need the bar. I like that. No, I want to clarify. I'm not a fucking pickup artist or some bullshit like that. I but just it, like how men and women interact. Those dudes that are like coming up and like, "I'm gonna steal her drink," or something. That's fucking stupid. Like, I Still her drink. I watched. There's this thing. There's this fucking. Those fucking PUA idiots. Like they. The there's this artist move. Guys, they are all in basic. Steal They're like, her. Walk up steal to a girl. her drink. This is a fucking move I read online. Steal her drink. Funny. Put a put drugs in it. That's walk what is that? That sounds like putting a Mickey. Her, be like, grab her drink, chug it, and then go like, you look like you need a drink. Now, if you're Channing Tatum, that shit might work. It might be pretty funny. Not gonna lie. Just jack a girl. Just take her drink, chug it, and say you look like you could use a drink, and then buy her a new full drink. That is force. Crazy, crazy. Is, I yeah. watched a dude do that in person my first month of living here. And how'd it go? Uh, they fucking the security guards threw him out. He'd been thrown out of like three bars in the last three. Weeks. Cause he been he just been he been shit. chugging drinks. Yeah. And that's all he's in there he doing. He read the fucking game by Neil Strauss and just went off the that's fucking. Insane. Yeah. That's that's it. Who, people give this advice. Oh yeah. yeah, there's a whole industry. They had a convention. Last Some of year it's in not horrific, like the idea of like building up your life and then making like because dudes are like they their life sucks and then they're like why won't women fuck me? It's like because you're boring as shit. Like why I wouldn't Go fuck outside. you. Yeah. Like dudes are like I want a girl who's in really good shape. It's like well are you in really good shape? They're like no. Then like, why would they want to fuck you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that advice is good advice. Make yourself actuated like. Do shit. Have a cool hobby. Have something that you're good at. Parker's funny. He can now get ass. Right. If you weren't funny, you'd be fucked. Funny means funny yeah, means yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Right there. Or whatever it is. Get good at something. Be good at swinging a golf club. Do something cool where people will respect you and admire you. A close matter. And that will be attractive. You'll have a cool life. That shit's good. But the fucking and then the being able to walk up to a girl and just talk to her and not be afraid of like striking what out. Here, this is my piece of advice for all the young yeah. men listening out there. Uh, talk to a woman like she is a human being. Oh, Wrong. Oh. Wrong. Talk to her like she's a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> I eat up a terrarium. I put sunlight on her, and I just I feed her crickets. You... And it works every time. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, so or you treat a woman like she's a, like a cat. Like just... uh, I treat her like a woman. Okay. I don't know. Treat a woman yeah, like she's a woman. I'm not gonna talk to her like a dude. I don't, honestly, I don't know how to talk to dudes in a bar. That's the thing. I got good at talking to girls because I just got I struck out with girls over and over and over again when it's I was like early twenties. you strike out with a guy and you're trying to be friends. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making a dude friend. I'm like I have no. You trying to make a dude? I don't know how to make dude friends. I don't think stand-up I've ever. Guy. All oh, my it's... guy friends are, are comics. Jujitsu and stand up. I don't yeah. know how to like go to a bar and be like, do you want to hang out? Like that'd yeah. be insane. Yeah. You'd be weird as shit. Yeah, you too. Time and proximity are two things that make relationships. I'm yeah. fine work. with all my friends being comics. I don't have any desire for normal. You should friends. get some friends that are normal. You need yeah. no. You need yeah, normal you friends. Need you surround. If you surround yourself on or, an island, or, you go to think like not the even islanders. Normal, but not comic. Like like find some musician people. You dig them probably. Well, like I have like acquaintances that are musicians, but like the people I hang out with on a regular basis are my one friend from high school that I still hang out with, mm-hmm. and then the girl, and then uh, comics. Yeah, I mean, but we kind of have to hang out. Yeah, more or less. Until we I get out of the open anything. mics, and I'm never talking to any of these motherfuckers yeah. again. <laughs> I'm not really social outside of. I know I should be, but I'm not really social outside of comedy. No, it's just going on dates for me. It's yeah. either going out with girls or that. I don't do anything. I'm not going like. 
uh, then jujitsu, I guess, is social to me. But no, stand up. You're out. You're out at a bar every fucking night. Why would you right. go out more? That's crazy. Right. I mean, I'm not going to nightclubs and shit that often. I'm not a nightclub person. Never have been. <sighs> Once I started learning how to dance a little bit, it became more fun. Which you're if a dancer, you can, you're... If you can groove a little bit, just enough to get by where you can get fucked up and dance. You got and not a one. Care. You got a one-two step. Yeah, like if I get fucked up, I can salsa. Oh, like I'm a shit. dude I, at a wedding. I'm electric. Like I love. I'm a you dude. You do the electric I'll, slide. I'll, I'll, I don't gra- dance. I'll learn. I'll learn it. Like if they got a new shit going on, like I went to a wedding in Oklahoma and they're doing those fucking line dances and shit. I'm like, let's do this. I'm in. I'm. 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 People get embarrassed when they're doing shit. I'm, I have fun with that. Once you can have fun dancing, it's the best fucking time ever. You, see, you don't I, dance. I professionally talk to people with a microphone, which is allegedly the biggest fear in the world. I. Yeah. I would not dance. In yeah, right? It yeah. gets... Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so he, he says, speak is not the problem, yeah, yeah. but this... <laughs> like, the last year, the last year, I was like, I just started getting fucked up and dancing with girls, and, like, it's so We've much fun. Like dancing. I don't, yeah. Dude, I've never done... I was like, like that fucking We All Scream place. I'll get trashed and just go there and find a girl who's like, you want to And they're like, yeah. And then you just dance with some girl for, like, two hours, whatever the fuck, and you just go home. You don't even got to fuck her. It's a great time. I like dancing. I didn't even know I did. And I'm not good at it. But it's a f- I'm good enough where they think I might be good. The only people that make fun of dancers are the people that are watching the they dancers dance. have fun. Yeah, I don't make fun of them. I, I envy them. Dude, okay. Yeah, but it's just if you're on the dance floor, nobody's going, look at this weird ass. Not everyone yeah, fucking yeah. having are there, fun. Are there black dudes that can't dance? I'm, I'm not asking. I've never like, met one. Right? <laughs> not, <laughs> that's a, not, not a single one. Because like, if you go to a white wedding, white people wedding, it's like f- half people are getting down, depending on as you get fucked up. But like a certain number of people are just never going to hit that ring, ever. They're just hanging out, we, sitting in chairs. I'm one of them. Doing whatever. You're, You're never going to be. Ah, we are, I mean, we got, we got the cha-cha slide. We got the... So these... We got dances that even if you don't know dances... Yeah. The, the song teaches the you cha- to dance. I'll do the cha-cha slide. Yeah, that's yeah. dancing. Yeah. I, know. I don't know if you... If you, if but, you just step it, but if you, you go to... You got to put that one yeah. top... One, one hop this time. Who? Yeah. You, however you do that yeah. hop can turn it from stepping it, right. in. Yeah. yeah. Season it. Hit him with yeah. a Charlie Brown. White mm-hmm. people, I think, because, like, I got to think Latino, like, every Latino I know loves to dance. They always yeah. do. But white girls don't dance sometimes. They love going dancing. But You said can't or don't? White girls can't. don't, like, white, dance, lot, like White people dance. is a dice roll if they can or cannot dance. Every other culture White people dance. have the dance move that is the dice roll. Yeah. I, we stole that shit from black people. You stole it? 100%. <laughs> 100%. Who's the, uh, the, yeah. uh, the... You know that the uh, the nineties. You double in dicks. What yeah. are you doing right now? <laughs> you, know, like, um, you bite your. You, you've seen this. It's like an no. old timey thing. No, right? like, no, 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 no. Modern time. Yeah. What, what, the shit, let me see that well, again. Uh, you know, yeah, I've seen this before. Right? I don't know that, but no, I hear the sound okay. effect. See, yeah. this is, dude doesn't dance. He Start doesn't. dancing. It's a good time. I shout out, fr- uh, white people dance more. It's a good time. Even if you're bad at it, just get fucked up to the point. It's like a. Uh, you get so hammered, you start dancing, and then each time you get a little less hammered, and the next thing you know, you can dance sober. See, I never even asked a girl to dance like in high school, like at prom. I danced with like my girlfriend when I went to prom with her, but like. But that's not, that's not that's not that's not. You've never gotten fucked up at a wedding and like taken your suit jacket off and unbuttoned some buttons and you just got fucking down. Absolutely not, dude. It's the best. I went uh, to a wedding, like like I said a few months ago, and then me and like the bride's sister. We're just fucking great. She was like, Mom. It was a great fucking time. It was so much fun. We just danced the night away. Danced the, dance the night dance away, man. The night Do it away. sometimes. Did you have... Oh, that, I'm, I'm not saying I'm opposed to it. It's, I don't know. You just not, you're just not yeah, a dancer. Yeah. You know? All right. Yeah. Um, Do you have question questions? No, we just about, about to go into... We about to go into... Ooh. What y'all got going on? Um, I appreciate y'all. This was, this was amazing. I appreciate you. I like how we slowly transitioned from me hating women to going back to loving women and dancing with them. Yeah, that's why yeah. I'm looking for a good point to end this so you can, yeah, so you can not bash... Before nah. I went back to... <laughs> that's continuity. Dude. Mm-hmm. Let me um, tell you about women voting. <laughs> who wants to start with... You got um Jimmy... You want to start with Jimmy? Matter of fact, mm-hmm. Parker, start. Oh. Um, better. I don't know if I have better credits than you. You have good credits. You've done shit. You're a regular with whom? Mr. Pauly Shore? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Should we cut that? We cut, cut that, that part? Cut that, cut that, cut that. Cut <laughs> that. Oh, we're, we're good. All right. Before it, I All right. I'm just messing Great up. guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, good opinion. <laughs> All right, so anyway, let's just do the Hitler stuff now while it's all being cut. <laughs> uh, yes, this is where the big cut. All right, do whatever you do. And action. Um, <laughs> Parker Ty, up, what do you got going on? Uh, on the 30th of January, I'll be at the Wise Guys. Oh, sorry. You're good. I'll start over. Parker Ty, 
What you got going on? Uh, on the 30th of January this month, I will be at the Wise Guys Comedy Club uh, doing the Battle Roast. I'll be uh, roasting one Liz Hader. Uh, shout out to Liz Hader. Yeah, shout out Liz shout Hader. Out Liz uh, I'll be roasting her at 7.30 at Wise Guys on January 30th. And then on February the 20th, I will be featuring at the Hundred Tavern. Uh, that is a little bar show on Charleston and Maryland uh, in the good old east side of Las Vegas. And they can find you at, at Parker Tail Joke, right? Yes, uh, P-A-R-K-E-R-T-E-L-L-J-O-K-E. That is Parker Tail Joke on Instagram and all other social medias. Appreciate you. Will Hunsinger, what you Hi. got going on? Uh, I got Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. We're doing the late night show. Uh, Adam Dominguez headlining on... Uh, the 14th, January 14th, 11.30 p.m. January 14th. Get tickets to that, Ticketmaster. They're on my Instagram. Will H. It's Conley. 11 p.m. 11 p.m.? It's 11.30 mm-hmm. p.m., right? Oh, I wrote down 11. Well, get them there it early. Show up early. Get up early. Get them there at 11. Uh, but yeah, Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, Ticketmaster, links in my bio at Will H. Comedy on Instagram. Um, I got some other bar shows and stuff coming up. I don't know when this will come will out. Eight, at Will H Comedy yeah, on W-I-L-L-H Instagram. W-I-L-L-H Comedy. And then if you want to fuck me, slide in there. DMs. Um, I will also have sex with you. Who, who, whoever's well. out there. Yeah. yeah. If anything I've said makes sense to you ladies and you don't hate me. Compl- it's fascinating how hateable, like women hate me on stage, I think genuinely. I wonder why. But like on dates, like girls who go out and they like genuinely love me. Well, you start with the life insurance policy and you're going to give it to them. So you all they got to do is get true. rid of it. You should say you get a, th- I have a life insurance policy. $1, That's $1, true. $1, Ladies, if you're trying to get, they could get you out to, of there and get the money. It's basically like a mutual fund that's just building every time. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck me. Yeah. You get a few hundred. If we fuck once a week, uh, you're basically getting paid two hundred fifty dollars a fuck, right, and that's a pretty good rate. When Pro- does that expire? And I'm a very giving lover. I think it's, you get a new I job? think it doesn't expire. Uh, the life insurance policy? Yeah. I don't know how that shit works. I'm not smart. Yeah. I'm <laughs> well, not, I think as long that's as that's another putting, reason to love Will. As long as I keep putting money into it, okay. Uh, I think it it's automatic. It's a it's it's part of my my employment currently. Ah. So if I make it in stand up comedy and I quit my job, you won't get that. So it's kind of like a lose lose, <laughs> facts or a win win. Either I'm you, you're dating a success or you don't get any money. So uh, you, or you get a bunch of money. So you know, I'm with what? that. Get that. So check. if you if you want to hit either one of them up, it's uh, Parker Tail Joke at Parker Tail Joke and at Will H Hunsinger. Um, thank comedy. you for Will H. You're losing five hundred dollars in your policy. That's going to Parker at Will H. Nice. At Will H Comedy, you can find if you want to hit them up in the DMs. Parker Tail Joke and Will H Comedy. This is another episode. I told y'all it was gonna be a great episode. This is another episode of the Reese Russell Show. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Um, I'll be doing this almost every day, so stay tuned. All right. Ye- ye-